Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. There's no Facebook this morning. So if you tried to find us on Facebook, we're not there. It's being worked on but it's not there yet. Elliot's back from his holidays. I've got interference. Elliot's back from his holidays. The set has been hoovered. Elliot's back from his holidays. Anyway, good morning. How are you? Should we just, oh, God, oh, got to hurry up. Early bird, got to hurry up. Early bird, early bird, early bird. Here we go. So today's early bird. Now you might recognize this uh, because this is non-fusible interfacing. Now, it's the, you can use it for the inside of masks. You can use it for dressmaking. It is not fusible, though. £5.98, this is for a metre. They are already pre-cut, so if you buy two, they will come separately in separate um, bags. Viseline interfacing uh, fabric, one metre pre-cut. Should be £5.98. Will be £5.98 again at midnight tonight. Are we going to crash or are we going to read the slide? Yeah. Slide. Here we go. Medium heavy, medium strength, serval, non-woven interlining, 100% recycled polyester, PES. It is a soft air permeable, has a very fine pore size. It's a stable interfacing, recommended for use with non-stretching woven fabrics. Um, this ideal gar... Oh, I haven't finished. This is an ideal garment for lining, dressmaking and mask making. Should be and will be again for the meter, £5.98. Washable at 60 degrees. Elliot's back. How much? £2.99 for the meter, 
£2.99 for the metre. Now, I'm still wearing a mask, are you? Yep, I am indeed. Elliot is. In the chip shop, did you say? £2.99 for a metre. For a metre, that's £2.99. pence. Vizeline interfacing. Now, quickly, 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 pop your basket. I'm not staying on this for very long. Got lots and lots to do. Got a very packed show today. Make sure you check out straight away. Make sure you do, because your PP is paid for the whole day. Whether you buy a dress pattern or some fabric or a quilt pattern or a sewing machine or some yarn lane clearance. $2.99. Check out, check out, check out. It is today's early bird. And they're already cut at a metre. As yet. Yeah, I've yeah, said that. It's all right. Yeah, 2 99 Keep going through. Keep going through. Keep going through. Right. Keep moving. Keep going through. Keep going through. Going to move on. Going to move on. Now, uh, today's menu. That's you, Elliot. There we go. Coming up today, so different layer, Reva jacket with Rebecca Harrison. Here it is. Elliot, that's you. Come on, and Alice, if you've not read your email, we've got to go faster. Yes, come on. There it is, gorgeous. That's in the pale denim. We're making it a lovely grey and floral uh, pattern today. We've also got some linen you can make that in. So that's eight o'clock. Oh, there it is. It's, where's that? Is that your new house? Yes. Oh, you've been busy. <laughs> I, I like your plant holder. Thank you. Yeah, you should be. Oh, Elliot, you, you go away for a week and you miss everything. Right. <laughs> then at nine o'clock, we've got American hand piecing with Emma Bradford. We've got two new uh, two new blocks. Here they are. One, two. Oh, and we've got lots of lovely fat quarters to do that with. And we've got how to do it and things like that. Ten o'clock, we've got the sew over it heather dress to start with. That's this one. There we go. We've got that in a couple of fabrics for you, three fabrics for you. And we're going to be chatting about the uh, jacket as well. The Dorothy jacket, right? Then uh, Emma's back at 11 o'clock doing Around the World Quilt with Emma Bradford. The oh, I'm supposed to move, aren't I? Then we've got... No, I'm, I'm here for a reason. Then we've got Around the World... Now, we've not got that colourway. We've not got that colourway. We've got in a rainbow, we've got in a blue, and we've got in a magenta. Right, very quickly before I move... This is back in stock. Oh, I'm going straight to the slide. Okay. This is back in stock, right? Yeah, okay. I don't need to be here then. That's fine. Um, basically, it's back in stock. If you buy it now, you will get a free five-year warranty with that machine. Now, loads went yesterday. They are there. They're in Stockport. They're ready to be shipped out to you right now. Some people have already received theirs that bought on pre-order. And also, if you did buy on pre-order, you will also get the... F there you go. Okay. You get the five-year... You will get your five-year warranty as well. Right. Very quickly now. Three ways to get in touch. First way is by email. Studio at You can't message me on Facebook Live because it's not working yet. We want to, but we can't. And the third way is you go to the website, www.sayingstreet.com. You see the white box on the right-hand side. You write a message in there. And it will come through to Hannah. It will go across the bottom of the screen. Right. Uh, now, while we're there, very quickly, this is, uh, if you scroll down the page. Pre uh, today's show deals are, oh, that jumped funny, ladies and yeah, no, no, because the pattern was there, wasn't it? Anyway, today's show deals is there. Uh, now, if you click on pre-order, that's everything we've already shown. There's pre-order. There's the lovely pattern already going. Uh, oh, lovely, 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 lovely. Uh, then that's the first hour. There's the lovely fabric we're going to be doing. Then the second hour, there are all your fat quarters, gorgeous fat quarters, and your instructions with Emma Bradford, two different ways of getting them. Uh, then we've got needles and all sorts of things like that, carrying on down, carrying on down. Then we've got, here we go. Now, uh, there's the dress we're going to be making, the sew over it, Heather dress. Check your sizes because it's 6 to 20 and 18 to 30. They've used the same picture. On the actual pattern, there's different pictures. Then, of course, we've got the jacket. We're not going to do the jacket. We're going to chat about it. There's the 18 to 30. I'm not sure. And there's the 6 to 20 there. 
Uh, it's 6 to 18. 6 to 18, that one is. That's the one. Anyways, keep scrolling because then Rebecca will go home after all that. All the bits you need for the jacket there. Then we have got uh, round the world, Emma's trip around the world. There's the pattern. There's the pattern. The variation was hanging behind me, but we have got it in three colourways. We've got it in the rainbow, the purples and the blues. They are gorgeous. Uh, the pattern is not included in the fabric bundle. Then we've got <coughs> Yarn yarn Lane. Oh, no, it's still on there. Then we go to Yarn Lane uh, and it's clearance on Yarn Lane today. Right, shall we start? Here it is. Now, last time we had one of these so different patterns. It's a new collection she's done. of all, they're all, It's like capsule wardrobe. They're going to mix and match. You can layer up. So we did a dress, didn't we? Then Adam was meant to come in the day Adam was supposed to be here. He was supposed to do a, the next layer up. There's no order. You can do it any time. This is a gorgeous jacket. You are going to be, using, be able to use this all the time. Okay. Uh, oh, thank you. 8 to 26 the size. I'll just be floor manager as well, shall I? Here we go. There it is. There it is. Gorgeous. Lovely detailed pockets as well, aren't they? This one's made out of the denim, but you can make it out of Well, I'll tell you what you can make it out of. Look, there it is. There's a picture of it. Um, the Riva jacket is a simple unlined jacket with a grown-on sleeve. It's got a wide-cut neck trim for a Japanese look, large patch pockets. It can be made in a heavy fabric as a winter warmer or in a sumptuous satin as loungewear. It's intermediate level um, and it's gorgeous. goes from a size uh, 826. I'm just reading what it is at the back here. Right, okay, so they're not all individual sizes, look. So it comes in five sizes, 8 to 10, 12 to 14, 16 to 18, 22 to 22, and 24 to 26. No, have you? Okay, 16.99, 16 pounds and 99 pence. Lovely, isn't it? Uh, it's really, well, uh, we'll say a little to Right, elsewhere it's 1999. I, I thought it was 1999 here as well, but never mind. Yeah, no, it's not. It's 1699. There it is. Look, 1999. It's exactly the same pattern. It is a direct comparison. 199, and we've got more than nine. I can tell you that we've got way more than nine. 16 pounds and 99 pence. Now they normally suggest. Here you go. Tara wears the Reva jacket. Double layer cami, which we'll be doing at some point, and the harvester pants in linen. And then Georgina's wearing it with a, an embroidered fabric. Double cami in dupion and harvester pants. So they're coming. They're all part of the same collection. $16.99. I know. Brilliant. Right. Now, ours is made out of this, which is the pale blue denim. This is the... Now, the light means the colour, not the weight. This is the eight ounce denim. This isn't the chambray denim. This is the denim denim. Two and a half metres. Ignore the picture on the website. This is the colour you will be getting. The colour that uh, Rebecca's made already for us. Yeah, two and a half metres for all sizes. Two and a half metres for every size, she's suggesting. Say that again. Okay, twenty three ninety nine. I've also got it in the dark denim, which would look lovely if you did top stitching in red or orange or something like that. It'd look lovely, wouldn't it? Here's the dark denim, two and a half meters. Twenty three ninety nine. The denim bundles always sell out, which is why I think we haven't got the medium coloured one because it sells out so quickly. Two and a half meters there, sixty inches wide the denim, so you will have some left over. Then, now the one you're going to see it made in today is this. Now, I've not seen this before. I'm thinking this is new. This is already going on pre order. Look, two and a half meters of your Rose and Hubble Natalia cotton fabric bundle. Now, this is a lighter weight than the denim. That's pretty. It's got, now, it's, it looks like it's got a linen uh, texture to it. It hasn't, it's just 100% cotton. 
I'm presuming. Yeah, cotton fabric, yeah. It's lovely. It's got like an open weave on it. That's going to make a lovely summer weight jacket, isn't it? So you've got your roses and your, are they hydrangeas, do you think, there? Gorgeous. 26 99 for you, two and a half metres. Brand new bundle. Brand new bundle. Look at it, two and a half metres of it. Oh, that one's single figures already. Single figures already for that one. I'm not surprised. You'll see Rebecca making it in a minute. Then I've got some uh, washed linen, or uh, textured linen, sorry. Let me just fold that one up. Then we've got it in the two colourways. Oh, actually, they're different. They're different, they're different, they're different. Different linens. So which one do you want first? Pewter, first of all. Now, this is, this is a lighter weight linen. This is your stone-washed linen. 28.99 for two and a half metres. That's lovely. Got that gorgeous slub in it, hasn't it? Nine of those left already. Nine of those left already. It is slubbly. Thank you, Elliot. Have you fixed Facebook yet? Gorgeous. And then the last fabric. Now, you'll recognise this because we've made denim jackets and we made dresses and all sorts out of this, waistcoats and everything. This is your um, stone enzyme wash. This oh no, stone wash. Sorry, T stone wash. This one. Yeah, it's got actually got a texture. If you come in close on that one, it's got a texture. Twenty eight ninety nine for your two and a half meters. Hundred percent linen. Hundred thirty three centimeters wide. That make a love that'll drape beautifully. Right, should we say hello to Rebecca? Here's. Is Rebecca? Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a gorgeous pattern and it's flying out. If you've got the, the pattern in your it's basket, lovely. please check out. It's absolutely flying out. Very flattering. It's and lovely. a nice simple make as well. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Look yeah. at you. I don't know. You've got your hair all tied back today. I know. Because it's, long, it's long enough. Oh, no, really? No, nice. <laughs> no, 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 in a nice way. In a nice way. Uh, before we start, how's the new house? Lovely. Oh, it's great. Because you were a bit, you were a bit before you moved in. You were a bit like, oh, I was oh a bit have I done unsure. the right thing? Well, like, I saw, I saw it once last August. Oh. So you know, when you just think, I remembered it very differently to when yes, I yes, yes. to when I went in, and then I was like, oh, oh, I forgot about that. I forgot about oh. that. And now I'm like, yeah. And well, you've been no, making them all get on with the helping with you. All the kids have been like stripping yeah. wallpaper. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Because I had to wait because my my furniture was in storage. They couldn't deliver it until. I think it was three weeks after it was actually. Oh, in two, a way that's two weeks good, after, isn't Yeah, it? so we just went in and just, I just said, right, let's just, you know, oh. decorate and yeah, yeah, do, yeah, yeah. do what we want to do to it. And it's all lovely. If you're saying it's lovely and quiet where you are it's as well. It's really quiet, yeah. Neighbours are lovely. Oh. The ones that I've met. Do you miss your mum? Miss and my Joan. Mom. Is it Joan next door? No, Pat. Pat next door. Pat. Well, she'll hate me for forgetting her name, <laughs> now, she? Pat, Pat next door. Next door. <laughs> yeah. The dog misses them. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Frank, we miss them as well, yes, obviously. Yes, of course. Of course. But we, it's really weird because we've seen them every day for like three months, and yeah. now it's it's really strange. And the kids settled in, everything. And yeah, they look, well, it's everything's now because it's Hereford, so everything's near school, college is all walkable. Oh, brilliant! Towns not about half a mile away, oh. so everything is yeah. Yeah, it's no, weird. not Worcester Town. Right, should we do no, it? This is Hereford. lovely. It is, it's beautiful. Check out on the pattern, it's flying out. Absolutely. Last time we had, the, well, no, the first one we had of this range sold out before the first half an hour. So please be careful if you've got this in your basket because they're absolutely flying out. Sizes 8 to 26. They're all in the same packet. All the different sizes are all in the same packet. Six, and 16.99, we found it at 19.99 elsewhere. Yeah. Right, so where do we go, Very what good. do we do, how right. do we do it? So the first things you do are the pockets. So the pockets have got this lovely detail of the V. And um, we'll just have a look at that from upstairs, there you go, brilliant. Yeah, so they've got, they've got this lovely little detail of the, of the V in there. Right. Um, which I think you can probably see a little bit more on that. It, you lose it a little bit on, on this one, but it's yes. lovely because it's still there. So um, I've, I've already uh, made one up and um, sewn one on. So I'm going to do the I'm going to do the next one now. So it, you get your um, your pocket shape and then you get your facing. Right. That goes over top. So the, the facing has uh, your iron on interfacing, interfacing on. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to 
chop down those so I can turn them through. That's not the early bird interfacing. That's the iron on medium weight interfacing that um, Rebecca's got there. So because it's a V, uh -huh. you'll have to cut into the V. Um, but obviously make sure you don't go past your stitching because uh -huh. you want it to lie as flat as possible. Also, has it got an, a, a shaping on the edge as well? Yes, there's like a little yeah, shaping nice. on the edge yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to stick, um, snip down to very close to my stitching, uh -huh. but I'm not going to go through my stitching. And then just turn those through. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just give it a little press. Let me move that one out of the uh -huh. way. Would you say it was a beginner's project, this? Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm just thinking what she... Because um... there's no... Um, because because of the um, the style of it, there's no there's no sleeves to... Of course, yeah. All right, now, in, I've, got, so... I've just got to say something on the back of the packet. I've just noticed. Do not buy 45-inch wide fabric for this. It says not suitable for fabric 45, 112 centimetres wide. Well, it's, it's because I'm presuming if you did, you're going to get seams where you don't want them and things, are you? Yes. Yeah. And also your, uh, right, let me find it, your centre front and your facing pattern. Yeah. If I show you on here, your straight grain, if you look, so you would usually you would put this line on the straight yeah but if you look oh, where, it's, where it's the grain the no straight. it's not on the straight so it's so we're it's at a slight angle and so is the facing as well so and why why is that then? i suppose to because of the shape because it because it goes up slightly at the at the front at the hem yeah and i suppose it's just to um because it's like it's it's, it's virtually a cro well it is it's like a crossover really yes, isn't yes, it? Yes. But obviously you're not you won't be doing that. No, because you're hang lifting. Uh, yeah, hanging. yeah. So, so it's to give it like a swing, almost think, like a yes. swing of it. Is yeah, it only yeah. on the front? It, yes, it's only on the front. That's strange, and it's isn't it? yeah. I mean, it's not as, as you can see. It's not it's not massively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Just, um, but please just be bit, aware of that. But yeah, that, that line with the arrows on has to be on your straight of grain, so your pattern pieces will look like they're on a bit wonky. Yes, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd put those on first. I would. Yeah. And then, and then you can get everything yeah. else on around. So, so all around of our fabrics, them. all of our fabrics are wide, extra wide. But if you're thinking of buying like a William Morris fabric, some of that, you'll have to put seams in and things like that. So they're saying buy wider fabric. If you bought the extra wide backings, they've got quite nice. They use those. Right. Right. So I'm just going to place my pockets on here now. So all the placement is on your uh, pattern piece. Uh -huh. So I have um, traced mine through with my trusty tracing wheel. Uh -huh. So no. I've just, I've just, I've just done the corners. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that there. I've yeah. done it in red. But I've just, I've just done the corners there, um, just so you can, so I know exactly okay. where my pocket is uh, supposed so you're not to pattern go. Matching, then. Not enough to pattern match. No. What? Well, not enough fabric no. to pattern match. No. Oh, okay. Good to know. What size have you made? This is a 20. Okay, perfect. So I'm just going to anchor down each of my corners. Mm -hmm. Let's put one in there so it doesn't move whilst I'm stitching it down. Uh huh. And you're just top stitching it down. I'm just gonna, you? yeah, I'm just gonna top stitch that down. A little back stitch. Okay. 
There's deep sighs coming from the gallery. Oh, really? For both of them, yeah. <laughs> Hannah's gone, oh! It's like she's... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. How close to the edge are you saying? Um, well, I like to go quite close, uh -huh. but, but it, it's completely up to you, really. I think if I did the denim, I think I might do two. You know how they do two yes, lines of stitches nice. on jeans? It look quite yes, nice. Two it lines of stitches, wouldn't it? Yes, and it also, you know when you said like the, the top V kind of got a little bit lost? I might even be tempted to top stitch across yes. the top and in the V and everything. So with a different colour. a feature sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. with a different colour, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then they'd really pop out then, wouldn't they? Yeah. They'd really stand out. So, yeah, definitely. Sorry you can't send messages on Facebook we Live. We are working. Our team are working on it. Get rid of that bit there. So, there we go. That's your... Just give it a little press. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then the next thing that we do is join um, the shoulders, just the shoulders. Oh, okay. We're not, not going to do um, down the sides just yet. Right. So your your back, you cut on the fold. Oh, that could also be why they're saying don't use forty four inch wide because yes. you, you wouldn't get that on the fold. Yes, though, would it's you? quite a wide piece that. I'm thinking maybe if you if you knew about if you've got a slightly good bit of experience you could put a seam in the centre back and that would help I suppose if you use you a could. narrow fabric yeah. yes yeah you could so there's not there's notches um, to help you to make sure that you get you're getting it all in the right place but it, I mean it fits even on the straight line across yeah, the shoulders across here That's yeah it, it fits brilliantly mm -hmm. so doesn't really need it and you've just overlocked off all your seams I've there. over yeah I've overlocked everything apart from the bits that I know that are going to be encased right okay and you're not going to see them just yeah. just to cut down the bulk of course really around the neck because you've got the the collar and your facing uh -huh. to go down there There we go. Right, so I'll just whiz across those two. Mm -hmm. What are you going to say, Hannah? <laughs> okay. I know it. Um, don't worry. <laughs> like she was going to say something. Yeah. So it's 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. Lovely. So I'm using the guide on my sewing machine uh -huh. to make sure that I've got that correct. Yeah, the bundles, the one we're using. <coughs> There's one left. One left of the bundle we're using. It's beautiful oh, colours though, isn't it? Beautiful. Okay, so there's one of these left. That's the, that's the graphic that's in at the moment. There's one of those left. That's it. Then the pewter one, the linen. There's only four of those. It's lovely, isn't it? It's such a gorgeous colour. Come on, Elliot. There he is. Beautiful. Twenty-eight ninety-nine. Stone washed oak pump. Yep. Okay. And the pattern, the pattern, the pattern, the pattern. There you go. Now, remember it goes from sizes eight to twenty-six, all in the same pattern. Sixteen ninety-nine. We have found it this morning elsewhere at nineteen ninety-nine. Oh, Hannah's made your slide. Look. So that's different options there. You've got jungle print there, and then the, the blue one is like an embroidered fabric. 
Me oh, message from Reva. There's the Reva jacket. I can't see that with while the slide in, Hannah. Oh, there you go. Oops, I only just woken up. Could have missed my namesake. Yes, you could, Reva, because it's flying out. Absolutely flying out. It's a lovely name, isn't it? Reva, yeah. Reva, where's that from? I don't know. Reva, where's that from? Reva, <laughs> Reva. Where's your name from? Reva, where's it from? <laughs> Oh, Teddy's messaged in. We know that comes from Teddy Roosevelt. Morning all at Sane Street. Join you late this morning. So Mr. Start of the Demo looks like a lovely comfy jacket. Jacket coming together. Thank you, Teddy. It's very simple to put together. It is. Uh, they've put intermediate on the um, on the yeah, pattern. But... I don't know if that's because the the collar and the and the facing. It's not difficult. No. But, it's but not I usual. suppose if you're if you're a, a beginner, yeah, you you might get a bit daunted by it. I, right. I suppose, but you there's no need to be. What were the pink balloons for? Pink balloons. Oh, that was my um, youngest's uh, birthday. Oh, she was 13 last Saturday, a week today. Oh, and um, yes, we had. I had uh, balloons. Balloons, and we had uh, two of her friends over for a sleepover. Oh! But they don't sleep, do they? Bless them. <laughs> My poor neighbours. It was like, welcome to the road. <laughs> uh, the box on the right now. The picture's not very good in that one, but that's the blue. You see that box there? That's the blue that. Um, Rebecca's already made that one there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to you keep on that still for a second. So what I'm going to do now is attach uh, this bit here. So the, the collar. Right, yeah. For better word. It looks like the front of a kimono, though. The traditional yes, kimono, exa doesn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. No, it, well, it definitely is, isn't it? Yeah, it's, that's, yeah. It's, um, yeah. Which is a lovely shape. Okay. Couple of messages. Oh, Reva's name. I'm named after a gondola. Oh. My parents holidayed in Venice before they got me when they were searching for names. So it was, the gondola was called Reva. Oh. Yeah, that's nice, named after a boat. <laughs> and Jill sent in a message saying, Morning, if I wanted to patchwork my own fabric, would it be better to French seam it all or make it all lined from Silly Nanny Jill? Well, f gosh, French seaming it would be... A nightmare. It, well, yeah. Um, do you know what I'd do? I'd bind the seams. So if you patchwork, actually, if we ask Emma when she comes in, because Emma's making a jacket not dissimilar to this, and she's patchworked all the fabrics. I know, I, I had a shirt. If you remember when I went to Jackie Collins' house and I interviewed Jackie Collins, I wore this like shirt that was all patchwork, right? None of the inside, it cost hundreds of pounds, right? And none of the insides were finished off. So as you washed it, it just frayed away inside. So what I would do... Is I, oh, well, what would you do with all the loose ends of, I'd, would you line it then? Yeah, I think, I, th I think I probably would. Yeah. Unless you've got an overlocker and you can overlock. Yeah. All your seams, but it's whether you want to see. Or it's going to back of that. But then of, you could line it because it's quite a simple shape to line because you're not going to line the bit, the collar bit that sticks out. You're no. only going to line. No, no, you're only, it's only this bit. Yeah. That's all, that's all you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, just a very lightweight I don't, I, I don't think she means that she's making a whole... Uh, Silly Nanny Jelly, do you mean, are you just making patchwork fabric or are you doing a, are you doing a three layer thick, like the quilt with a, with a, with the top, the quilt, the, the wadding and the, the backing? Oh, there was a thing at the moment where apparently where people making them out of actual quilts. Hannah knows this because she has lots of time on Pinterest in the evenings when her boyfriend goes to the pub. <laughs> just leaves uh, all on her own. Oh, they come up on Instagram. <laughs> they come up on her Instagram all the time. Message on the bottom. Uh, I'm finding it really difficult to know if the jacket would suit me because I've lost four... You've lost 40 kilograms. Uh, and my figure has totally changed. Paula, I bet you look amazing. Um... In a way, right, yes, it would, because it's a throw on, throw over, doesn't matter your shape at all. But you know what? If you've lost that much weight, you want to be doing, you want something with a cinched in waist like that girl, don't you, really? I mean, it's, oh, well done. That's fantastic, you isn't could, it? You could, though, because you could, um, you could wrap that over slightly. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. 
and make a tie belt. Couldn't you? And put a belt around. I mean, you might not want to wear this, but I'm just to, saying. Yeah. I, I'm just thinking, if you've got it, go flaunt it. But congratulations. But yeah, yeah, it will suit you. But I tell you what I, I think I might do is I might make that of something like the linen, which would be a little bit more flow, uh, drapey. Yes. Because if you make that the denim, it's going to hold its shape like that's in it. Whereas if you made it out of this or something like this, for example, let me just show you, right? Because this has got a drape to it. So this would hang more like, do you see what I mean? That would hang more like that than the solid denim. That's all I'm thinking. Oh, oh I can't get over that. Well, how have you done that? Hannah's diet's going over as well. She's only had a pan au chocolat for her breakfast. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, you can work that out, Elliot. Okay. Elliot's trying to work out now how much that is in pounds and ounces and stones and things. That's what I was trying to do. Elliot will work out. He's busy watching dinosaur videos at the moment. <laughs> <gasps> six stones she's lost. Wow. That's like Munch. Munch has lost six stone. Just almost six stone. Congratulations, wow. yes, that's that brilliant. That is incredible. That's I think round of applause, to be yeah. honest. Oh, that's oh, amazing. Oh, then now that's, you've got honoured there. <laughs> right, tell me what you're doing. Tell me what you're doing. Right, so what I'm doing is I'm sewing on this facing, but just a single layer at the moment because this is going, uh, going to come across later. Oh, so it's the collar, not the facing so it's inside the, the Yeah, jacket, the collar yeah. at the moment. So right. I'm, just, I'm just pinning that into place. Right. Now, don't panic because it doesn't go all the way down to the hem right so it does it does stop right so you uh, yeah so don't don't worry and think oh i've cut that out wrong because it doesn't it right. doesn't go all the way down to the hem and also um when you're pinning you need to leave your seam allowance at, um free there so don't oh, okay. don't, don't uh, sew to the bottom. yeah don't sew to the bottom leave your uh 1.5 um, which will become clear. So is that just a straight piece then? That's that's a straight piece. That's but on you're your sewing straight it up game. the front and round, round the curve of the back. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the fiddly bit is round. Um, round the shoulders and the mm -hmm. neck. But we're going to um, clip into that later so that yeah. it sits nicely. Oh, question on the bottom, let's see. Could you take the front lapel to the bottom if you wanted? Yes, you yeah. could. The reason they've done it is to give it that Japanese style because on a kimono, traditional kimono, it stops there. But if you want to run it all the way to the end, you could do. Would you have enough fabric to do that? I think it would depend on the, on the size. Right. Um, so that obviously the... The smaller sizes, I think, then yes, you probably could. Right. You might have to add. Or could you, you seam it? You could seam it. You yes. could put a seam in it you somewhere. You could put a seam in it somewhere. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> We're giggling because because she, I have put a seam in it. Yes, <laughs> but she does. She doesn't. Can't remember why. I can't remember. Why. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? I don't know. What about just jiggling the pattern yes, around? Uh, but the thing is, I remember when we did traditional Japanese quilt, uh, um, not quilts, uh, jackets, they do have a seam there. So uh, maybe psychologically, you oh, need to seam there. Maybe. But you, you Thank could, you, John. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> but you could seam it and yes, you take could. it down to the bottom you if you could, wanted to. You yeah, could, yeah, yeah. But just don't put it there. <laughs> yeah, yeah don't, don't put it in, in your eye line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so I'm just coming oh, around Paula, the Oh, Paula, say thank you now. very much for the round of applause. Oh, oh Paula, well, you deserve brilliant. it. I think that's what, it's ha amazing. That's just fantastic. That's absolutely that's brilliant. A huge amount of willpower and strength has gone yes, into that. Yeah, yes. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Well, yeah, because even Munch, who's lost our friend Liam, who's lost nearly six stone. Wow. Uh, we've been out with him a few times recently, and I don't quite know how, because he packs away a few curries and then he drinks like he brought we go to these um we get listen to me like it's a regular thing we've been to these um chinese uh, indian restaurants where you have to take your own alcohol 
And he just goes like this with a bottle of gin. He's looked at a bottle of gin in his bag and he's pouring away. So he's got gin, food, everything. He has the popper doms and everything. But he's obviously good in he between, isn't he? He does not go to the he? gym. He walks every morning. That's oh, what he well, there does. you go. Walking is, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Uh, morning, John and Rebecca. Got the pattern and lovely floral fabric material. Looking forward to making it. Enjoying the demo. Looks nice and simple. Winifred, it is. And you'll look gorgeous. Oh, now, Winifred, I'm coming over. Now, what's the dates I'm coming over? Shall I pop in to see you when I land? Because we go to, we fly to Alicante before we go on to the house in Albia. Albia. Oh, get you. Go, we go through Benidorm. We pass, pass by Benidorm. It's carrying on at the coast past Benidorm, yeah. Oh, when's this? It's what? When's this? Uh, I think it's, it's either June or August. Oh, lovely. Well, no, 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 no. Because my brother rang, right? And he said, right, these are the holidays we're doing. He said, we're going to Spain in April, New York in May, Spain in June and August, Kefalonia in September, and, and California. We're going to California next spring. So, um, I know. I'm not going on all of them, obviously. I was going to say, are you, go are you doing all no, of them? No, gosh, no? no, no. I'll do one of the Spain. I'm not doing New York. I'll do one of the Spain, and we'll definitely get to Kefalonia. That's booked. They're, yeah, visiting George in New York. They're signing it. Oh. Yeah, but they can still go, they can still go on holiday, Hannah. Hannah's, made, Hannah's justifying why my brother's going to New York now. <laughs> huh? Huh? Yeah, they haven't seen George, their son, since before pandemic Of started, course, yeah. Because he lives there now. Right, I'm just let, I'm just loosening some stitches because I've caught there. See, this is this is um, why you have to be quite careful. Oh, okay. Going round, so I'm just loosening that off, and I'll go round again. Uh -huh. So that's fine. You can do that. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Let me just pull those ones out so I know where I am, actually am. I'm restarted dressmaking as I've dropped from 15 to stone to eight and a half with Weight Watchers. Crikey. Blimey. Gosh, what will everybody Can't advertise there? Weight Watchers. Others aren't. Cause, no, no, because we have somebody. We've got a friend who's on Noom. We've got a friend who's on Second Nature. We've got a friend who's on, um, not Weight Watchers, the other one, Slimming World. So it's all of them. We're not, we're not advertising any of them whatsoever. Which one are you on, Hannah? Oh. Yeah, she's on Pano Chocolates are us. <laughs> she's starting again on Monday, it'll be fine. I want to be on her diet. <laughs> Do what? I said, I want to be on her diet then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's because, oh, you might not know, her boyfriend's moved in. Oh! And it's adjusting to having someone else in else the house. Else in the house, yes. That's her it's excuse, a, anyway. It's a big thing, that is. He eats loads. And is he skinny? Yeah, I've not oh. met him. I've not been introduced yet. Not been invited to the house. Not invited to meet the boyfriend or anything. Okay, I um, he's got a hangover today. Uh, I am going round soon because we've got to go to the Moroccan shop. We've got to go to the cake shop, and we've got to go to the uh, new plant shop in Moseley. We can do that. I'll come when the floods finished in your roads. Oh no, really? Uh, was that from yesterday? No, they've got uh, the bank's got a leak or something. I can't remember what it is, but the leak is under. They've got a communal garden in front of their row of houses, uh, and that's where the leak is. So they've oh, got to fix no. it. Oh, so all of them together yeah, have got. Yeah. Them. Well, uh, Hannah was panicking because originally she was told it was under her house. She, uh, but it wasn't because she knew her water pressure was fine. Oh, the joys, eh? Oh, you, oh apparently you can see coming out the ground in the garden. That's a water feature, Hannah. Put your house up for sale. Got ornamental water feature. No. Oh. Sorry, I'm just pressing this to yeah, one yeah. side. Ready for the facing. Brilliant. So now I'm going to do the end bits here. Oh, so okay. this is why we left yes. the... Um, I was going to say an inch and a half, the, the no, centimetre, uh, centimetre right. and a half, 1.5 centimetres. So we're going to go straight across and then that finishes that edge. Uh-huh. Do 
Yes, uh, Elliot's trying to tell Hannah she shouldn't have to pay for the water. Elliot, you, the water company are to the certain point and then from the valve to your house is your is your responsibility so like if if the water goes in our village up until the village green the water people pay for it from the village green to my house i'm responsible for it so you get an, you get an insurance which i've now been paying for however many years i've owned houses touch wood and i've never had to uh, claim on it So you're just sewing across the bottom of just that. Just sewing across the bottom, So if you yeah. did take it right down to the bottom, would you still um, do... Yes, you still have to do that because you're not well, going to hem it. It depends. Oh, yeah. Because you could... Um, it will get sort of tucked into the... Actually, you'd have to change the facing, actually. Yes, you would, wouldn't you? Um, yeah, you would. Because otherwise... Because the, the, the facing completely encloses... Um, the hem at the bottom. Uh huh. So you would have to um, change that slightly. Mm hmm. Yeah. So so yes. You f if you finished the end and finished, ma made sure you were in line with yeah, and then then you could count. You could do your put your facing on as normal. So I'm just going to cut those down a little bit mm -hmm. so that when I turn it through, they sit nicely. Just be careful when you're doing this that you don't actually cut yes. your centre fronts. Right, let's turn them through. So I use my nails to... It's quite easy with this fabric, actually. Yes, yeah, yeah. Don't, it's nice and... There you go. Right, I'll just give that a little press. So I've already pressed um, a centre seam down there so that uh -huh. it's um, so that it sits nicely because I'm now now I'm going to put the facing on of course and enclose all of that. Oh, so that's why none of those edges are overlocked. Yeah, they're all yeah, going inside it all the facing, gets yeah. enclosed inside. Yeah. This is the sort of thing that looks really nice if you've got, um, you know, like a black trousers or a black skirt and you've oh, got... Oh, look, are you doing fashion tips now as well? No. <laughs> fashion with Rebecca. See, this would, this would look nice because I've got black on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this would look... Uh, well, you could really, finish it and yeah. wear it for your next show. Really nice, shall I? You could wear a John Scott <laughs> column of colour underneath. <laughs> so your facing... Yes. ...is you've got your... Uh, your back neck piece. Oh, it's all in one, right? Okay. Uh, no, no, it's seamed. Right, okay. Here. Yeah, yeah. Um, if I turn it that way, there you yeah, go. Perfect. You'd be able to yeah. see it better. So, yeah, so you've got your back neck piece, which is quite wide. Mm -hmm. It's quite a wide piece. And then you've got your two pieces that run alongside. And then you've got this, that bit at the end, which is your, this is your hem. Oh, okay. And then it curves. Yeah. Let me show you. I in suppose here. that's why it might be into me. Oh yes, so look it's at like that. that. Yeah, brilliant. On so the that's where the intermediate bit might come in, rather. Than yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So with your facing now pressed over, so we're going to sandwich that now mm -hmm. with your facing. So make sure you get your centre lines. Uh huh. Are there notches and everything? There are, yeah. yeah. And the shoulders should line up with the shoulders. Uh huh. So it just takes a little bit of time to get round. Of course, yeah. This bit, so. 
I'll go as quick but it's as like, I it's can. But it's definitely like an afternoon or a day's oh, yeah. project, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's lovely. I mean, you you know, you're going somewhere in the afternoon. You could do this in the morning. Oh, perfect. Going for afternoon tea. Yeah. Absolutely. Ooh, and then that just follows down. There's a lot of layers all coming, uh -huh. coming together here. I mean, you could, um, before you put this facing on, you could, within the seam allowance, you could stitch that piece down. Yes, yeah. So that, so that it sits nicely. L loads of you got this pattern in your basket. Please be careful. Sorry, John and Rebecca. Missed the start. But could a beginner do this pattern? Melanie, yes, what we're saying is the only tricky bit, I think, is watch this bit now, because this is the trickiest bit, just putting the facing down and going around the bottom. And it's not tricky, but it's the trickiest bit of the whole pattern. Because you've got grown on sleeves and things, no sleeves to set or anything no. like that, no fastenings. No, it's lovely. Sorry, this is the boring bit because it does take a, a bit to just Not boring. pin it into play. So it should go down to the hem. And it's doing a lot of starting a sentence this morning and then stopping. <laughs> <laughs> she needs another coffee. Oh no, she doesn't need that. <laughs> I do, she says, I do. <laughs> Way over half the patterns have gone. Way over. Way over. Yeah, you've got to check out. you got to check out. you got to check out if you want this. This is the finished item here. It's what we're working on. So have you done the other... The other um, Patterns. We've done one so far. Oh, yeah. We did a, uh, it was a dress, wasn't it? A dress that could have been a smock. Uh, and then Adam was going to do something else, but he got poorly, so he couldn't yeah. come in. And then this is the third one of the range we've done. Well, second one of the range we're doing. Yeah, we will be doing the one Adam's prep because he's all ready to be, to go and everything. But he's a very busy boy, appearing in all the blooming events and everything like mm, that. Popular, isn't he? Yeah. Popular, gonna be popular. From Wicked. Oh, he's a nice guy, isn't he? He's lovely, yeah. He is lovely. Right, okay, so now right. that's gone down, all the way down so, the front. Yes, all the way down the front. Yeah. Um, and then right, I'm just going to refresh my mind. Oh, yeah, no, I do go down there as well. <laughs> just trying to remember. But we still haven't turned the side seams, have we? No, no, your side seams are the last thing right. that you do. So, yeah. So this is this is going to encase your... So So you haven't got... Um, a seam at the front of your hem. So this encases it all. Right. So the only hem that you've got is on the back yes. piece. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, let's get sewing. So now to do this all in one then? All in one go, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to start at one end. Right, while you're doing that, because you're literally just saying across the bottom and all the way up around the neck and all the way back down across the bottom yeah. again. Yeah. While you're doing that, let me do a recap. The pattern is £16.99. Uh, very, very, very popular, this pattern. Loads in baskets. You need to check out if you definitely want it. Slowly but surely you're checking out. Not many left. Not many left now. And we found this elsewhere this morning at 19.99. Brand new today. That is here. That is a launch here at Sewing Street today.
You can also make it in like a jungle print, like the one on the front of the packet, and then the embroidered fabric that's on the back of the jacket goes from a size uh, 8 to 26. 8 to 26 size in there. <coughs> Price comparison elsewhere, like I just told you about. There you go. 19.99. They're not sold any either. They've still got nine in stock. Okay, fabric-wise. Now the fabric that Rebecca's using has sold out. The now the pewter only had four of these left. Two left of the linen pewter now. Pewter linen even. Remember, if you're doing your own fabrics, don't do it with a 45-inch wide. It needs to be wider fabric. £28.99. All these are. All these are. £28.99. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Look. Oh. Gorgeous, right? The other linen here. Now, this is different linen. This is a heavier linen, this one. This one's got a texture in it. £28.99. This is just stonewashed teal linen. Single figures of this one now. Okay, then I've got the two denims. The pale denim that the sample is made out of is this one. Light denim. Now, it's light in colour, not in weight. Yeah, the picture on the web is a little bit strange. This is what you're going to be getting. And then last, we get two and a half metres in there. And then last but not least, we've got the dark denim, which I think if you did have this, you'd do top, top stitching in red or that, that lovely yellowy, goldy colour that jeans are top stitched in. Or you could do some sash go on it if you wanted to. Hannah would like that. Actually, what you should do is you should do the sashko before, when you, you know, cut it out, then do the sashko, then you're only holding one section, not when you have to do the whole jacket. 23.99 for two and a half metres. Beautiful. Right. You're still sewing. Nearly there. Pattern about, well, really, really, really busy for the pattern now. I haven't spilled anything on there. That's part of the design, by the way. Message on our bottom. Brilliant demo. Oh, thank you. That's from Whoever Georgina in Warwickshire. Thank you very much, Georgina. Susan. Morning, John. Glad to see you in my favourite shirt. Susan. I, I, do you know what? This is the spare one I had to hang in in the dressing room because I brought my last of my Chinese shirts today. And the fabric's completely different. The f it's like a chiffon. <laughs> and I thought it was a little bit drapey to wear on telly. And it felt a bit like out of my skin. I love that. Be good on the beach with my thong. Uh, Riva <laughs> del Garda. Is a beautiful place in Italy on a lake with beautiful mountains in the background. I used to visit as a teenager and walk along the lake from Moya. Ooh, oh, lots of lovely names today. Do I say Moya? Yeah, Mo Moya, Moya in North Yorkshire. Thank you, Moya. Sounds stunning. Yeah. Right, nearly there. Okay. Right, so yep. what I'm going to do now is just cut in uh, to that neck because there's an awful lot of bulk in there. All right. Oh, still got a pin in. Um, so I'm just, I'm just going to ease that. It's, it's all going to be covered up. Yeah. You're not going to see it. So just around where the shoulders are and the back of the neck. Uh-huh. I'm sorry about YouTube, uh, not YouTube, but Facebook. I know a lot of people are messaging in. Just watch on YouTube or on the website. You'll be able to see it there. Oh, YouTube's down as well. Okay. Yeah. Watch on the website. Is that something Elliot's to do with the still store? trying to fix it. Hmm? Is that something to do with the store? No, it's to do with Elliot. <laughs> We've had no problems for a week. <laughs> and he comes in saying everything's gone wrong. <laughs> so the... Um, at the front here, 
I'm just cutting into that so yeah. that it when I turn it through right it will it will turn through nicely uh-huh so I'll have a nice sharp point hopefully so I'm just well, well. taking some away hopefully that will be the case yeah and then just turn the whole lot through yeah so I'm just gonna push that out There we go. It's a deep sigh, Elliot. And then give that a good press. What are we doing? For it's such a lovely. How are we doing for time? You're over time, but don't worry. Okay. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Um, so that's really, that's a really lovely way of finishing it, isn't it? It is. That kind yeah. of facing it like is, that. It is. It is. So I'm just gonna, I'll give it a very quick press, uh -huh. and then we'll hopefully get one of the sides done up, so you can actually see. The side seams aren't done yet. Lovely dressmaking masterclass with Rebecca and John. Love you two together. Thank you, Marjorie. Oh, thank you. I'm not being much help today. I don't help? think. No. What do you mean help? I think I've been a bit dull today. No, you haven't, John. I am you dull. You are that, never it. dull. Yeah, we need to talk about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm so dull that Elliot's made a major decision in his life. life. I'm not saying. You're just going to leave it there. I can't. It's not my. It's not my decision. It's not my announcement to make, is it? That he's leaving. Oh. oh! Oh, oh, oh. Elliot's leaving, everybody. Elliot's hands is noticing. Oh, dear. He's crying. I'm, I'll be crying with laughter, I tell you. It's all right. He will be back as a freelancer, though, at the weekends. Yeah. Yeah. He's gone off to, he's going off to be a gigolo, apparently. <laughs> We don't know what that means, so we we're yeah. <laughs> Right. You'll have a what's it what's it, a niche audience. I'm but hang on, so I, what I don't understand is I know we've got to finish very quickly, but I don't understand what happens at the side seams. Right, now, I'm gonna you've do you've got it a now. facing, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. So your side seam. So if we do do one of them. So what you do is you stitch down. Your, that centre back oh, oh, facing. Oh, okay. So, so that so that stays. So you'll see stitching through. Yes. The whole jacket then. Yeah. So you stitch it down so that it stays. Oh, nice. So it keeps, oh, so that's it, a nice. I yeah. didn't even notice that. So it feature. keeps. Yeah. So it keeps that down, yeah. and then all you're going to do then is join your side seam. So what's going to happen is there's a little. I don't know if you can see that there oh yeah it's like a little edge there yeah on your face so this point here matches up with this seam right here. okay, okay? Yep. so it, it is it is going to be longer yes it is going to be longer but um so you you and then it sits perfectly there then and then you just carry on up yeah your side seams and under the arm and round to the and sleeve. And under the arm, yeah. Yep. Let me just put some pins in very quickly yep. and then I can turn it through. And if you need to, you can clip into that... Um, underarm curve. Under, uh, under, that, under that curve. But I, I didn't really want to because, no. then, because then you're... Do you know what I'd do? If I had an overlocker... I'd try it on now when I've sewn it. Yeah. And then overlock it right down to like, rather than having an inch and a half seam allowance, yes. overlock it right down to just the overlocking stitch width. Yeah. And then that will give it the ease, won't it, to go yeah. around the curve. Absolutely. Yeah. That is rather the best than, thing Rather to than do. cutting into it. Yeah. 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 So let me turn that through. Matt, you are practically done there uh-huh oh hang a message for elliot no don't go elliot they'll mix your fix it what's that funny little thing there 
And we'll miss you too from Susan. Oh, too late. Thank, he says, thank you, Susan, but it's too late. He's going. Right, OK. So, so there you on. go. So, so you can see, look, it is... It's I mean, that obviously, that, that's just pins. But oh, yeah, it's, hang on, um, put it into shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there you go, go yeah. Um, it's, just, it's pulling a little bit yeah. Um, there. So, yeah. So, you, yeah, you might want to take yeah. that um, edge a bit closer. Yeah. And then at the bottom, you then um, take that up. To your to your oh, to your stitch your line, facing, that's and, right, yeah. yeah, and then that that just tucks in. And do you did you machine that? Now? And you machine you machine on yeah. on on the back. Not I mean you you could if you no wanted no no that, no, but no you I would don't no no, no no no. So you just machine. Yeah. On that bit. Brilliant. Yeah. Are you going to finish in your break so you can beware it for your next show? Shall I? If you've got time, if you've not got too much prep to do. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Yeah. Oh, she, yeah, it's going to cost you extra, she's saying, under her breath. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. fine, cost you extra. <laughs> Pattern, 1699, please be careful. So many have gone, so many in baskets, not many left. Ooh. Oh, I didn't do that. And Elliot's leaving. <laughs> what, did he jump or was he pushed? 1699, he definitely wasn't, he definitely wasn't, he definitely wasn't. 1699, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Right, got to go, look, we've gone over into Emma's time. Sorry if you if you set your videos and everything. Right, uh, straight after break, Emma's up. We're gonna do doing American hand piecing. Go. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting, and of course, applique, which is my favorite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our website, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the home page, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our website, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. 
You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Ellie's just checking to see if Facebook's back on because he's having trouble getting it fixed and everything. Anyway, Emma Bradford's here. Hello, Emma Bradford. Oh, mm -hmm. Right, okay, we're doing a bit of American paper. Uh, no, 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 John. Yes. Not paper. <laughs> Not paper. Start the hour. Hello, hello, Emma Bradford's here. Emma Bradford's here, Hi. hello. <laughs> right, we are doing American hand piecing. There you go, nobody will notice, nobody will notice. <laughs> Smoothly, smooth. Yeah, yeah. No, you won't, Elliot, because you're leaving. Did you know Elliot's leaving? Elliot's yeah, leaving. Your hair looks gorgeous. Thank you. Had it done this week. Oh, did, has it got a. I was going to be very rude now. It's got a colour in it. A little bit, yeah, like well. A pit, like oyster. Looks yeah, like an oyster pearl yeah. colour. Yeah, well, I'm going white, so. It's what? I'm, I'm going white. You're going. I'm going. Going. Oh, don't. I'll get told off. Uh, you're going <laughs> white, right? Uh, yeah. It's gorgeous, though. So, Thank you. So it's almost your natural colour, isn't it? It's almost my natural colour, yeah, but the, the hairdresser makes it, what's not white makes it white. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. It is pearlescent. It looks lovely. You look fantastic. Thank you. You didn't come on your motorbike today, did you? Oh, no, because Mike no, is no, here, Mike isn't he? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, grumpy old Mike here arrived. He was like, hello, hello, everyone. I came through a bit later. So where's Mike? He went, oh, he's gone to sit in his car. Yeah. <laughs> we obviously got on his nerves after about <laughs> 10 minutes. Right, so we'll explain to you what American hand piecing is in a moment. But what I'm going to do is, now, I've got a bundle today. New, two new patterns today. Now, what we've done is, what Emma's done is she's done this, this, this one here. You might already have this one. I've got an answer for you in a minute if you've already got this one, right? This is how to do American hand piecing. And then today's new blocks are layered star and twisted star. So this bundle of three, you get three steps for instructions. That's what you get for, you, for $12.99. Twelve ninety nine. you get three. And also, but can I just point out, this one just did, this one's the whole booklet on all about of a whole new technique right? with, with your templates and everything, right? So that on its own should be $9.99, shouldn't it? Then you get the layered star block and you get the twisted star block. And of course, I've muddled them up now. So there's one <laughs> and there's the other. We've got these fabrics coming up in a minute. But what you get to be $12.99 is you're getting all three sets of instructions. The photo on the web is a bit weird, I'm being told. You are getting the one how to do American hand piecing and you're getting the specific twist. So in here, there is, a, there is a pattern in here already. There's a sawtooth in here. So in there, you've got sawtooth in and how to do American hand piecing. Then you use that, use that um, instructions to make the twisted star and then that instruction to make the layered star as well. So you get three sets of instructions in there. Brilliant value. Now, I know what you said. And, and you Emma, Emma to show you how to do it as well. But, right, what you also, what I need to tell you is that some of you might have bought these last time we did. So if you don't want this one, you think, oh, I've already got that one, I don't need that one again. You can buy those two on their own. You can buy those two on their own. Th uh, that's not right. $3.99, Emma. Possibly. Oh, she's looking a bit befuddled. It doesn't matter. Emma will still get her money. Don't worry, everybody. <laughs> Emma will still get what she's owed. <clears throat> That's not right. There is it. Three ninety nine for two, it, for both. Yeah, three ninety nine for both. Oh, okay, okay. Anyway, so you get the twisted star block with your templates and everything, and you get the layered star block with your. Oh, that's a big one, isn't it? So you get all of those. Both of those for three ninety nine, three ninety nine. Oh, okay then. 
That's weird. Anyway, take it, take take advantage while you can. Take advantage while you can. So that's for both of those. Not you don't choose. It's not. Do you want that or that? You get both of those for three ninety nine. Right now, you may not, you may not have um, seen any of this before. So the other bundle I've got is this on its own. Is that right? No, no. The other bundle is this one. This one. This one. This. One. Yeah, this one here. Sorry, I'm getting confused. No, this one. <laughs> no. So you get, this one you get. Yeah, I think I've... Uh, There's a couple more. Windmill weather vane, which is what we couldn't say earlier. Oh, yeah. Star flower. That's the one that's freeze missing. Freeze frame. You get a freeze frame as well. Here you go. No. Where's it? We had it. We went to... We counted them all in and out earlier. I'll find it. I'll find it. Okay. Don't wait. It's here somewhere. Okay. You get four. One, two, three, and you get freeze for um There it is. We knew okay. we'd count them in. Yeah, so look. So for this one, for fourteen ninety nine, you get how to do it, which has got the saw tooth in it. You've got the windmill weather vane. You've got your star flower and you've got your freeze frame. They're ones we've done before, and, I'll put, and Hannah will get us the dates in a second. So that's all for fourteen ninety nine. So you still get this of how to do it. If you've never seen it before, that's the how-to with one block in it. And then you've got windmill, star flower, and freeze frame as well. Fourteen ninety nine. Right, now I've got some bundles of fat quarters here. Oh, all these are flying out, by the way. They're all flying out, Hannah's saying. They're very, very busy this morning. Right, let me Oh, put can that I on. say quickly? Oh, yes, go, go. So with the instructions, the sawtooth star is a six-inch square. Right. All the other blocks are 12-inch squares. Right. But they'll all work together. So right. Because the blocks, the single patterns on their own are 12 inches. You Which can are make these? A nice, yeah, you can make a nice sampler. And you can also incorporate the sawtooth star in the original instructions if you just put four together. So or could you use them as cornerstones? Yeah, or you could use them as cornerstones. Yeah. yeah. So it all works together because yeah. they're all the same The size. sawtooth one comes in the hand, the original uh, instructions of how to do American hand piecing. So that's not a pattern on its own. That comes within the first one. And then obviously this one here is uh, twisted and layered, or tw layered and twisted, twisted and layered, these two, which are the ones we're concentrating on today. But if you buy the other bundle, you can get the freeze frame, the windmill, and the other one. Oh, oh. Be aware which, which, yeah, right, over half the stock of this one has gone already. Over half the stock of that one, which is brand new today, over half the stock, Elliot. And then this is layered and twisted here. And also, 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 the Emma will explain this, explain this to you later, if you place your fabrics in a different way, it looks completely and utterly different, doesn't yep. it? Oh, another stock warning. The bundle with four in. Yep. There's only five left of these. <gasps> There's only five of these left. So if you want. Oh, and the 17 people in baskets. So that's going to sell oh, out. So that's for that one. Oh, you won't be seeing that one again. You won't be. So check out, check out, check out. You won't be seeing that one again. Right. Let me show you some fabrics that we've done. We've put some bundles together. I've got the RNGs. Yeah. Yep. This one's called Echo Park. You get five fat quarters. That's this one, actually, isn't yep. it? That's yep. this one. That's this one, look. Right? So you get five fat quarters, £18.99. Beautiful. Lovely. And that's one you're going to be working with now, is it? It is, yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah. That's one we're working with now. The one that the other block's made out of is this one here. Beautiful look. So that's this one. This I love this one. It's this lovely. collection of fabric is one of my favourite collections Gorgeous. of fabric, that one. And it's Moda. Yeah, Moda. And that's this one, that's this one, that's this one. Lulu. It's really funny because I picked up, I kept thinking, in my brain I was going, I think this is Lulu. And I was like, don't be stupid, darling. it won't be called Lulu. <laughs> it's Lulu. Look, Aww. fussy cut, the middle one there. Are they swifts or swallows? 
Oh, they could be either. Or a seagull. <laughs> they're, they're all Swifts to me because I'm partial. Yeah, they're all Swifts to you. <laughs> Anyway, look, eighteen ninety nine. That's what that's what you get in there. Five fat quarters. Elliot's in the strangest mood today, and you already know the answer to that one, Elliot. Right then, I've got Rainbow. Oh, Rainbow's about to sell out. Oh, that's nice. Remember, if you like Rainbow, oh, hang on. If you like Rainbow in Emma's next hour. Not now. Not now. Not now, not now. Five fat, look at the price. No wonder, no wonder these are selling out. £8.72, that bundle. No. Four left, four left. Check out, check out, check out if you want that one. Okay, and then I've got... Oh, that's this one. So this one's next. So this is Ivory Soft Wheel. Oh, sorry, plastic bag. Lilac. I that must have been me, yeah. £12.72. Nana May, fat quarters, five of them. Beautiful. <laughs> £12.72. They're lovely, aren't they? They're Gorgeous pretty. clover and little daisy flowers there. That's a nice mix of different colours and contrast. You could really have fun putting different oh, fabrics yeah, in different places with that Def one. Definitely. Next hand. Yellow one. So this is clover. Lots of clovers going on down there. Uh, gingham. Florals. Little acorns. And little flowers. Another mode one. Cozy up. Yellow cozy up. It's really funny because in this range, see that colour there? They're called that pink in the range. Uh, £18.99 pence for five fat quarters. Next one. The black and white one, which will be very dramatic, won't it, this? So you get the, uh, they look like they've got love heart. I can see love hearts on that one. I know they're just leaves, but. Plus white. You'll be leaving soon, Elliot. Grey. Black. And then, oh, that one's got uh, Elliot's writing on it. On a good day. £12.97 for that bundle. Yeah. And we've all discussed on how you're going to do it as well. Beautiful. And then last but not least, Ladybirds. There you go. Look at how Liberty-esque oh, is that. Nice. Mm. Eighteen pounds and seventy-three pence for five fat quarters. <laughs> oh, Elliot, stop it! He's in a funny mood today, isn't he? <laughs> he is. It's because he's been—it's been Amy's birthday all week, and they've been out partying and drinking, and they're going out for a lovely dinner tonight and everything. Right, uh, should we get on with some sewing? Oh, gonna. Pattern bundles. The one with all three in. There are only 18 left now. And 17 in baskets. So if everyone checks out, I've got one of those left. And then this one here with just the two instructions in. There are seven left. And 21 people got it in baskets. Ooh. So I don't think I'm going to be showing you patterns again for the whole hour. It's only 20 past, so look, I nearly had to sell out. Right, so, uh, Emma, what is American hand piecing and how do I do it? Okay, so... Okay. <laughs> hello, by the way. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> right again. Right. The story of American hand... Well, so in America, it's a bit like Chinese food. It's like, let's call it hand piecing. Right. But I've called it American hand piecing okay. to differentiate it from the English paper piecing because there's absolutely no papers involved whatsoever. Yeah. Right. But this is the way that I learned to quilt to patchwork way back when, like the, before I even had a sewing machine. Oh, wow. This is how I was taught how to do it. And what I love about it is once you've got all your pieces cut, literally you need thread, a thimble and a needle. Right. And you, that's, oh, maybe a couple of pins. Oh, right. A couple of pins. 
and that's all you need to start getting sewing, basically. Right. So it makes it really portable. So what? I was in Jersey last week for Michael's birthday. We took him away. I wonder where you've gone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I was making these blocks. So Michael, come on holiday. By the way, I'm going to be sitting sewing. He he knows. Yeah. <laughs> He's used to it. Yeah. He doesn't he doesn't even bat an eyelid anymore. Aww. But yeah, but in the car, in the plane. Um, yeah, anywhere. It's so portable, you can do it anywhere. So that's of course. I, one of the things I love about it. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I love about it is, even though it's hand sewing, it's surprisingly quick. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's, it's yeah. So I'll, let me get back to it. I imagine it's quite like um, good for your mindfulness as well, isn't it? Because yeah. not only do you sit there and you can't think of anything else while you're doing it, mm -hmm. but it's going to be that, that addictive thing. It's, oh, I'll just do two more. Yes. Oh, no, I'll just do two more. Yes. Oh, no, I'll just add that bit there and yeah, get yeah, that yeah. bit done. And I can imagine it kind of takes over, really. It does a little bit. And I either listen to audiobooks or podcasts right. or in front of the telly. Oh, OK. So whenever I'm watching telly, it's either quilting, like hand quilting, uh -huh. or I'm doing this, or maybe a little bit of knitting. But, yeah, i am always got something on the go right. while I'm doing something. Mm -hmm. So how we get started is um, you mark your patches on the back of your fabric. So on your patterns, if you have a look at the patterns, yeah. there are... Is there anyone you want to be to look at? Oh, I'll do that one up. Yeah, any of them. Right. So there are template pieces on all of your patterns. Okay. And those are your shapes that you'll use right. to actually cut out your fabric. Right. Now those templates are the actual size of your finished piece, your patch. Right. So that doesn't include any seam allowance. Right. So I need to cut those out with whatever seam lance I've got I want on it. Yeah. yeah. So cut those out. Um, I've actually got some acrylic ones I've cheated. I've had made. So I've got all the basic shapes for uh -huh. myself. Um, when you trace them out, um, template plastic. So trace it out exactly the size of the template. Don't add anything when right. you're making your okay. template. Um, cereal boxes work well as well. That's what I started mm -hmm. with. Um, but yeah, trace out your template so it's exactly the same size of what's on there. Right. And then you will mark it as as so. So I've got, um, I need eight squares from this particular colour. Right. So I don't know if you can see, Elliot, I've kind of nested them. I've got seven already marked out. Yeah. And I've left at least a half an inch in between each square right. okay. to allow for that. You can see this one really well. Uh -huh. uh, in between each square to allow for my seam allowance in between. Right. So that's what you work with, like quarter of an inch, like most quilters, yeah? Yeah, so it's quarter of an inch seam allowance. I do allow a little bit extra because you'll trim them anyway. Right. So more is better than less. But my very first quilt I made, it was a quilt for Kaylee, and there were some fabrics that were given to me, and I only had a scrap, and I needed to get a certain number of patches out of oh, it. Oh, okay. So I will say some of those seams were probably more of an eighth of an inch, right. a quarter of an inch. Mm -hmm. And it's still holding together. Oh, I mean, that's and how old is she? She's 27. And how, when did you make, did you make it for when she was a baby? Yeah, that was my very first quilt. So I oh. made it in 90, well, she was a bit older, 96. Wow. And it's still holding together. Yeah. And then, oh, oh so you're not a ro it's not rotary cutting then. You're cutting with scissors. Oh, yeah, yeah, just cutting with scissors. Okay. You can rotary cut. So some of the shapes I was rotary cutting out yeah. earlier today, but mostly I tend to use scissors. And what I'll do, as I, once I've decided what patches I want to go where, and especially if I'm making several blocks that are the same, what I will do to make it more portable, rather than cutting out all of my shapes into a pile like this, yeah. I will actually leave all of my shapes cut out just like that, and then snip one oh, off Oh, and as, as you need, need them, take one yeah. off. Oh, brilliant. So you don't lose any bits that way. I was going to say, because otherwise, if you cut them up, the likelihood of losing one of those. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So that makes it nice. So yeah. what I'll do, especially if I'm hand piecing a quilt, I'll decide on my colours, which blocks I want, what colours I want, and then each block I will mark out and then just pin, you know, folded pieces of fabric uh -huh. together like that. So what's the so biggest quilt block. you've made doing hand, pe hand piecing like this? I've got um, a double size bed right. quilt. So what I will often, actually no, well, I've got one bigger than that. So what I'll often do, is just sit and hand piece the blocks just like that, but then sew them together on the machine. Oh, so you do your long rows yeah. aren't all hand stitched. No. Yeah, yeah. Or add sashing on the machine. Yeah. 
Um, I've got quick questions. Nothing to do with this. We had okay. the lady messaging earlier because she wanted to make the jacket from the last hour, mm -hmm. but made with patchwork. Oh, and I said yes. you were doing a jacket like that. Now, are you doing, are you cutting the pattern pieces out just of patchwork or is yours quilted and then you cut it out? It's quilted and then I'm cutting it out. Because Hannah was saying that seems to be like a really big trend at the yeah, moment. Yeah, I need to get on to doing that because that part of yeah, that is hand piece. Well, you've been doing it for... <laughs> I know. As long as I've known you almost. Well, not that sort of rubbish, but you know yeah. what I mean? It's kind of like you've been doing it a long time. I have, you? yeah. And it, only because uh, I'm doing it reversible. So one side is machine pieced, yeah. which is quite quick. The other side is hexagons that are all hand pieced. Now, have you done those That's American it. or have you done those paper? American. Oh, wow. I've never actually done paper. Oh, you don't paper. do paper at all? No. Oh, okay. No. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm doing that. Yeah, yeah. So it's just that when they messaged in, I was like, oh. It was a Silly Nanny Jilly, wasn't it? And yeah. I thought, I knew you'd yeah, done yeah. one of those. Right? And actually what I would recommend is um, quilting it and then washing it before you cut it out to make your coat. Right. Yeah, which I haven't done yet. I've been naughty. My first part, I've, I've actually cut it out without washing it. Okay. So there may be some shrinkage. Dry clean it. Okay. Yeah, you're not using a vintage quilt. You're making, you're making each yeah, of the pieces, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Don't don't be chopping up. Well, it's, it's your I suppose they're your quilts, but it's like I, I tell you on when I watch sewing bee and they give them six beautiful um, tweed jackets and go oh. make something out of this. And I just watch the jackets being cut up and I think all oh, and I'd feel the same if somebody gave yes. me that beautiful quilt of yours mm -hmm. and went oh make a dress out of this. I don't think I could. You know, I'd want to make it specifically for that project, not cut up cut somebody. Up you know. Yeah. 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 Anyway, I think anyway. yeah. It depends. So my philosophy on that is. A lot of quilts just end up in an airing cupboard, or a lot of mine are yeah. in the airing cupboard and never get seen. I'd rather it was cut up. Oh, and yes, used yes, yes. And I mean, so, that's what I'm saying. It's your own thing, but yeah, yeah. I can understand why some people would get upset if you found an old quilt and just cut it up to make a frock yes, or something yes, like that. Yes, yeah. yeah, I agree. My yeah, first, I my, can see my both first ways. costumes I made for the English National Opera, it was a quilted a skirt, and the oh. designer back then was, oh, I'll just buy an old quilt from the thing. And I knew nothing about quilts in those days. So I was like, no, I'll I'll make I'll make oh, the skirt. I'll you. make the skirt. I'd rather make. All went wrong, but if, I'd rather <laughs> make the skirt than yes. go to the charity shop and cut up a quilt. Anyway, yeah, yeah. let's move. Okay. It went wrong because I was new, Elliot, and I didn't know what I was doing, and it just <laughs> and my actress my actress was about that tall, and we put her in. Oh, a, it didn't work. Floof, floof. Anyway, anyway, off um, we go. Can I borrow, please? Which one? Um, the one on your right. Oh, you mean uh, the actual block? The actual block, yeah. Because I'm going to make this block, but with the other fabrics. So right. you can see also side by side. One, because I need to orientate myself. And two, um, so you can see how it's going to look with uh -huh. different fabrics. So we're using the same bundle of fabric to make this one. No. Different, different, different bundle. bundle, yeah. yeah. So what I recommend, especially if you've never done it before, or even if you have and you want to try out a new block, yeah. always, once you've got all your pieces that you think you've you've... Cut, you've marked out, you've cut them out. Always recreate your block yeah. <clears throat> to how it's going to look. It's not going to be perfect because you've got seam allowances in of there, course. but it will give you a rough idea. And the reason for that is one, so you can sort of see how it's all going to work together. Mm -hmm. Two, to make sure that you've actually got the right number of pieces. Did, sorry, did I showing you the wrong one? Did you want that one? I could, you can have them both anyway. Oh, yeah, no, 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 it's this one. Okay. It's this one, yeah. It, yeah. Right, so the bundle oh. that Emma's using to piece now is this one here, which yep. has got little birds. It's the little birds with the coat hangers on the head, but they're not coat hangers. It's what they actually look like. <laughs> yes, they're like um, quails. They, they are quails, yeah, because okay. I said to, when we first did this fabric, I was like, what have they done that for? Why have they turned them into coat hangers? It's because they really have a feather on the head like that. Like and you get the florals and the bumblebees and everything, Eighteen ninety-nine. That goes there. Now, in the instructions, that there is a particular order. Now, this looks very complicated, but there's a particular order that you start with. So you always start with your smallest unit, just like you would right. if you were machine piecing. So that one you're doing now, mm -hmm. looks, it looks completely different. I know. It's, just, it's literally just because of fabric placement. And different fabrics. Right. And then I've got... Oh, 
Mm. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually reversing. So this is this bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because on the one next door, you've got two orange and then a dark and a light. And on that one, you've got two lights and two oranges mm -hmm. in your corners. Oh, look, it's gorgeous. What's this yeah. one called? This is not lead. This is twisted. Twisted star, yes. This is twisted this star. This is a twisted star. And, but then if you had a different colour here, it would add another element as yes. well. So a different shape. So, so that's one way. Or oh, uh, you can... I mean, just exactly the same pieces, but look how different it it will look if you did this. Just twisted oh, yeah. them slightly. Oh. So you're so what you're saying is lay it all out before you start any stitching whatsoever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, because I one. I preferred it the other way. I like it better the other way. Um, because one, it gives you a chance to to try out does those colours work where they're put? Because this is your point. You can, at which point you can actually change where everything goes yes, yeah. and how it goes. So you may want to decide, actually, I want a different colour for that shape. And yes. then you can just try it out. But it gives you a really nice... Yeah, that's nice. I like yeah. that. And also, once you've got it to that point, because I can actually see it because of the camera there, yeah. which looks different than if I'm looking at it this yes, way. Yes, exactly. So always take a picture on your phone mm -hmm. once you've got it to this point and have a look on your phone because it, it just will distance you from the actual thing so you can actually look at it objectively all right so once okay. you've done that i'm trying to think how they, oh yes. what do you need i'm just deciding which way to start but i think i'm going to leave the instructions because it does tell you the order oh, so right, i'm going okay. to show you the actual order for doing this one but i'm going to show you the basic technique okay perfect. because it will be quicker okay lovely so i'm going to start with this square and we're going to put that over there. Do I um, do the same techniques that I normally do? Right. For ha machine piecing, so I make sure. Although it doesn't matter so much for this, but yeah. Make sure I. But you're putting a pin right where you're going to sew it. Yeah. So is I'm going to sew line along line these yeah. lines. So is the square drawn on both sides, like this side and the one underneath? It is. No. So if I take this one, I'm going to sew along this line. So what I'll do, take that out for now. You might want to get a bit close for this one, Elliot. Uh -huh. I'm going to put my pin just through the corner on this square. Yeah. And I'm going to make sure it lines up. I'm going to put it through oh. the corner on this side as well. Just like that. Now, this is the way that it works for me and how my okay. brain works. It, do it however it, you, it works for you, um, but try it this way. Okay. The goal is to line up both of those sew lines. So the marked line is the line that you're actually going to sew on. Right. And you want to line those up perfectly. So I'm going to put my pin back up through the line and through the line on this side. So I know that corner is absolutely lined up front and back. Yeah. And then I'm going to start sewing from the opposite corner. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Easy tiger. I know. So usually I use my teeth. Use so what? Use my teeth. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't do that at I home, know. everybody. I get told off. That's why I'm being good and I'm using scissors for this part. Uh -huh. And it's just a single, um, single thread. Uh -huh. No knot, just loose. Okay. I'm using Aurifil right now, but normally I would use a slightly heavier thread. Um, quilting thread, hand quilting thread works really well. And what numbers, what's hand quilting thread? Is that like a, <laughs> she's looking at me now. So hang on, so it's it's not the really, really thick thread, which is it's 12, that's, it's 12 that's the thickest, that's, it's not yeah, that one, is it? It's not quite that thick. I would say a, f a, a 40. 40, yeah, would right. work better. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with my needle that I did with the pin on the other side. So putting right. it through this corner, and then I want to make sure it comes up through this corner. You may we have to fuss with it a little bit. Yeah. Just to make sure it's all lined up. Yeah, four. Oh, 28. There's 28 as well. So no, oh, it's the 40. Yeah. I, I, I think it's a 40. A 28. 40. Yeah, it might be a bit too yeah. thick as well. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the pin to make sure it's all lined up. Uh huh. Taking it through that line. There we go. 
And once I know that's all lined up, so I've got it going through my fabric just like I've got the pin. And I'm going to hold this corner. Uh huh. And I'm going to pull my needle and my thread all the way through, but I'm holding uh, this corner so I know that it's all still lined up. Okay, so you pulled it out. I pulled, pulled it out. Thread. Okay. Uh, but then I go back in and start sewing uh, just a running stitch this direction back into the corner. Oh, okay. I basically start and, st and end with a running back stitch. Does right. that make sense? Oh, I see. So you go back before you go forwards. Yeah. But why did you pull it through? Only be that's that's sort of the technique that I've sort of developed yeah, myself yeah. to just to line it all up, make sure oh. it's all lined up, <laughs> okay. and then put it all through because I'm, I'm not going to start from that corner. I yeah. want to start about half an inch away and go, go into the corner. Towards the corner. The corner. Yeah. And then you're gonna, when you get to the corner, you'll turn around and go back yep. again. So yep. it's like the reverse on the sewing machine, what you're yeah, doing, which basically. you don't normally do on quilting, do no. on patchwork, do no. you? But this adds <coughs> to the integrity of the actual hand piecing. Yeah. Uh, and then I've just left, I've pulled my fabric, my thread through. I just and I've need left you to move your hand to the right a bit, Emma, sorry. Oh, sorry. Thank you. There we go. Um, I've left about half an inch tail. So uh -huh. no knot, but I have left about half inch tail of thread there. And now I'm just going back that direction. Mm -hmm. And then every time that I load up stitches on my needle. I'm also double checking that I'm, my needle is going through the line on the back as well as the front. Uh -huh. And then when I pull it through, when I start again, I'm just going to take one small little back stitch. Right. And then do another running stitch going the same way. Yeah. It just keeps those pieces from moving against each other. Of course, other. yeah. my pin out and then you just go to the corner yeah and then do another little there you go Elliot Elliot was worried stitch. she weren't using your thimble we oh. don't stock thimbles at the moment so okay. um. no definitely need a thimble for this um, you can try it without I started without because I was like well I don't need a thimble yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not used to it but trust me after a while of pushing your needle through yeah you'll so each time you start on those sections do a little back stitch Yep. <coughs> I see. Yep. Now I'm going just to do my half inch. And this is all in the, the basic instructions. Uh -huh. It's all, there's pictures, there's photos. It's all described in there. There's a diagram to show this starting and end in particular. Mm -hmm. So that's that bit. And then it's just a case of. Oh, what you do? Are you tri OK. Just trimming. As you go. Yeah, just trim as I go, just a quarter of an inch. Okay. Now, if I'm travelling, I don't always have scissors with me. Right. So what I'll do is I'll just sew everything, everything together right. and then trim it all up at the end. And then you can do a little finger crease or use your gadget. Uh huh. We haven't. Uh, Anna's not there to change the gaffer to that. I don't know if we've got those in stock at the moment. <coughs> Anna's just checking for us. Yeah, but these are really nice, even for uh, machine sewing. Uh huh. So that's that one, and I'm going to do this one exactly the same. Yeah, I've got them in stock at the moment, they're on reorder at the moment. Okay. I'm going to do this one rather quickly because I want, I want to show you as well is when I sew both of these pieces, this one and this one together, I want to show you how I do coming across all of the seams. Okay. <coughs> well, we went over into a little bit into your hour, so we can oh, take okay. a little, you can oh, go a bit into a bit the next hour. That didn't make any sense, did it? Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> and also this is, so, um, I don't know if Hannah or Alia can see the other dates that I've done this as well. Oh yes, yes, Hannah was just looking this up, yeah. Oh, okay, perfect. One thing I like about these hand piece blocks as well, they're really handy for gift cushions. Mm -hmm. So if you need a gift in a hurry, um, yeah, I just make, make the blocks, have the blocks handy, and then you can just make up a cushion as needed. Or Absolutely. Use on the side of a, a bag or whatever.
Now, I'm going to ask, this might sound, there's no such thing as a silly question, I know. <laughs> but if you didn't draw the mm -hmm. one on the underneath one, yeah. you just laid your fabric on top of another piece of fabric mm -hmm. and stitched, you're still going to get the same straight line. You are, and when you're doing a bit like this, it would work. But when it comes to piecing them all together, you still need that corner. Oh, okay. Yeah, you still need it. Yeah, that's fine. I just asked because I was just thinking, oh, I might do this, but I might not draw on the bottom one. I yeah. just might put a square down, stitch along, but you're still going to need the mark. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was a silly question, Elliot mm -mm. said. Mm -mm. Elliot, no question's a silly question. No. We're all going to go and visit Elliot in his new job. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but we've been told us what we can and can't say in front of his work colleagues. <laughs> oh, Lintuit's got no power where she lives this oh, morning. Oh, no. Well, no, you can use your phone without any power. Well, you can still have some charge. Huh? Still well, have no, everyone was saying on Facebook, weren't they? Charge your phones up in case you lose your, oh, your power. Oh, yeah. And then and, and, and I think what people are doing, because they are Facebook isn't working. Everyone's sending my Facebook messages now. <laughs> so Linda says, uh, good morning. Have a good Saturday. And you, my love. <laughs> oh, Alice and Marion sent me some photos as well. Oh, nice. Oh, can we have a couple of... Quick hellos. Do what, sorry? Can we have a quick, can I have a couple of quick hellos? Oh, yeah, go ahead, oh, go, yeah. go, go. So, hello to Barbara. Sending wishes to Barbara. She's had a rough week. Right. Lots of love for Barbara. And uh, Chris, Chris in Wales. She's had some surgery this week. Oh. So, yeah, so that's all. I think it's. Oh, hello. So, Chris well. and. Barbara. Barbara. Chris yep. and Barbara, lots of love to you. I've also, remind me in the break, I've, this is going to sound awful now, I've got something in my dressing room to show you. Oh, okay. That we talked about <laughs> earlier in the week and I just suddenly remembered it now. Oh, okay. Okay. Not, oh, and ask Emma, yeah? <laughs> Have you got a neighbour called Gina? Oh, yeah, I do, across the street. Oh, yeah, Gina yeah, yeah. Knows, knows Hannah's mum. I know. That's a yeah. bit worrying. Oh, I know that sounds a little bit ominous. Well, it's a bit worrying because a neighbour came to me and said, "Do you work at such and such?" Yeah. I'm like, "Yeah," because I'd never said anything to them. Yeah. Do you know such? A, do you know Hannah? I'm like, yeah. "Yeah." She's like, "Oh yeah, we know her mum." Oh, that's <laughs> all right then. Yeah, yeah. It was Hannah's mum's birthday last week, and she's still living it out on Facebook. Oh, nice. She, I tell you, this is very funny, right? So she said they sent a message to a friend, going WhatsApp me, and the friend went, "What's WhatsApp?" And she went. It's the green telephone. <laughs> and we wonder where Hannah gets it from. Oh, anyway. Yeah. yeah. It's on public. I'm not reading anyone else's messages. It's public on the, on the Facebook page and everything. So you only ever do short, because the, the threads are quite short, aren't they? It is. Normally I do about... Arms Where is width? it? I can't even see it. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, it's, this is quite fine. So yeah. maybe an arm's width. Oh, okay. So, okay. Um, the thing about, you don't want too long a thread. Yeah. Especially if it's finer, because the wear and tear through that eye or that needle will make it snap. Of course. Oh, and what I always do, especially um, when I'm doing this or hand quilting, is that I'll fold them over quite, quite a lot. So there's quite a lot of overlap there. Right. And then just keep moving the, that needle along the thread to prevent that wear. Oh, of course. So it's not the same place through your needle all the yeah. time. Yeah. But that's where the um, hand quilting thread, the thicker thread comes in because there'll be less problems yeah. with that as well. Oh, my strong bottom. Has Emma written yeah. a book? It would be a bestseller. Oh. <laughs> Both <laughs> demos there are brilliant. Just had to buy. Love to all from Jackie in Norfolk. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, Jackie in Norfolk, so many people have been, it's, uh, it's a sellout for you, Emma. Oh, great. Well, and what, what book? What book what do you want in the book? Is it just <laughs> sewing or do you want all her? Because she's had a, f uh, I was going to say fruity life. That's not the word I was looking for. Uh, <laughs> full life. Full life because you've lived all over the world and everything yeah, yeah. like that, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. And then she could do a chapter on Mikey and his little soldiers. His soldiers, right, yeah. Right, what, what? Okay, so Annette recently tried manx quilting oh that's another addictive form of hand stitching good day of shows today thank you annette oh, uh, what does ss mean sewing street does she work here <laughs> no 
Uh, um, what is Manx quilting? Yeah, I don't know. Well, it'd be out of the man, obviously, because the Manx cats and everything, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, uh, have Annette, look. we need a little bit of an explanation of what Manx yeah, We can look it up, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, that sounds really interesting. Yeah, be interesting. So what are you doing now? I'm just going to work towards the corner. So what I'm doing is I'm sewing both of my, I'll open it up so you can see, both of my squares together. Right. And I'll show you what um, happens when I get to the oh, middle. Oh, hang on, we just look at that. Yep. Okay. Yep, so you're sewing two squares together and two squares together, and yep, now you're making the four patch. patch. Yeah. Making the four patch. Yeah, so I'll show you what happens when you get to that middle okay, bit. Okay, brilliant. So it's just sewing. I've, oh, oh, I've pinned. So I've pinned at the end as per normal, and then I've done it again at that join. So uh -huh. if I have at the point where they'll have lots of different um, seams all the way across if I'm doing a long one yeah you'll want to put a pin in every corner where you've got a sort of a right a, a place to pin everything together uh -huh. that you need to match everything up so I'm taking that out and I'm just going to sew all the way to the corner Okay, so I'm at the corner. Yeah. Now I'm going to pull it out. Right. And then if I look at the top, I'm going to sew. Right. All the way around, almost like through all the pages of a book. So my thread's on here, right here, coming out of this corner. Right. So I'm going to go through this seam from this corner coming out at that corner. Right. Just like that. Uh-huh. And pull that through. Now this is a side that ha I haven't sewn yet, but I'm going to put it through this corner, come out in that corner. Oh, I see. And then you're going to go through the next page. Yep, and then go back, back on myself. Oh, back okay. This one to there. Yeah. And then once I go through this, this will be back where I started from. Uh, I'm just giving it a little tug every time, just to pull it slightly tight. Yeah. So back where I started from, and then through this one again, and then I'm on the other side where I can start sewing my two pieces together again. Yeah, because if you was on, if you were doing it on a machine, you'd have that seam open or nested, and you yeah, just go across the across. whole lot. But you haven't gone, you haven't stitched any of no. the seam allowance. Have you just gone through all the pages at the corner? As yeah. It worked, the corner. yeah, yeah, yeah. So all your seam allowances are free. Uh -huh. But what that little step does, because you can just skip across and just start stitching. Yeah. But doing that little step means that when you open it up, you won't have a hole or a gap in your uh, um, corner in the middle there. So it just adds to the integrity of your quilt yeah. and to your so, so there's no holes or gaps. And then I'm just going to start sewing exactly the same. And you do that little step every time you come across a seam or you have to go across a seam, uh -huh. you do that. And that's basically it. The only other trick, and it's all in the extra instructions, is the order in which you sew everything together. Now I will say the twisted <laughs> yeah. You designed them, I we know. should know them. I, I had the names too similar, I have to admit. Yeah. Uh, for this one, the order that you sew them in is a little bit different. So okay. Most of them are in nine patches, so you have squares. So this will be a square, obviously. Yeah. You have larger squares that you all sew together at the end. That one, that shape is a little bit different. So, so instead of like, if you were doing it, like if you're doing the quilt behind you on the wall, mm -hmm. you do, you tie it together in rows and then sew the rows together. Oh, I'm not saying that. Yeah, Let's yeah, not yeah, say yeah. that. But no, yeah. okay. So if you look at that, you'd normally do rows, but because of the way this is, you can't do it in rows. So you no. do like look on the screen now. Uh, you've got one on the screen yeah. now, Emma. If you're, you see, you've yep, got yep, a four yep. patch in the corner. So you'd make your four four four. four Patch corners, four mm -hmm. of them. Then would you make that middle one with the on point square? So I'll show you. Okay. If I move it out so you can right. see. So what you start with, <coughs> bring it back. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we <laughs> bring go. it out, bring it out. 
So you start slowing all of your big triangles to your square in the middle. So right. you've got sort of a, a Catherine's wheel, for uh -huh. a better word. And then you add each section like this. So this, my four patch will be added to a section that has that. Oh, okay. And then that fits in together. Oh, see, so there's no, it's not like a make make a, a row and sew the rows together. It's no. it's very different. We have to anchor yeah. it all together. But that's the only one that is like that. But it's yeah. not difficult because your hand's sewing. Oh, no, you, no. There's not actually a Y seam, even though that should technically be a Y seam. Yeah, because, but there isn't one. No, because you don't have to worry about it. So it's Brilliant. Just, just bear that in mind if you're when you put it together. But it is very clear in the instructions. Oh, I bet it's fabulous to do just to sit and... You know you've got yeah. a, few, a couple of hours, or like you say, you, when you've got a, an audio book or a podcast yeah, to listen to or sit. anything. Yep, it is nice. So yes, I'm just going to finish off. Yeah, you finish that one. Right. Yep. So I've got no instructions as for any of the um, hand pe American hand piecing to do. What I have got here, which I'll show you in a minute. No, let me do this first. Let me do um, bundles of fabric to go with the hand piecing to start with the American hand piecing to start with. This one here. There we go. Five fat quarters, eighteen pounds and nine pence. Echo Park Paper Company. Never heard of that called that name before. Beautiful day. It's such a beautiful day. I'd like to spend it with you. Anyway, that's that one. Nice. Next one. The other one. This one here. Lulu. Lulu. Gorgeous. $18.99. Beautiful. Ladybird. Everything else is single figures. Uh, this is the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had the right one. Yeah, sorry. So it's got the Liberty-esque fabrics in there. Beautiful. All the others are down single figures. So it's just those three I'm going to show you for now. We had more to start with than those. We had the others, 1873. Now, very quickly, I've got some of Anna, Emma's other patterns here. Nothing to do with American hand piecing. These no. are just other patterns we've got of Emma's. Attic window quilt pattern. Now, now, normally, this would go with a panel. If I haven't got a panel... Oh, yes, what you can do. So what... Because um, we would normally we would normally do a picture, wouldn't we, of like, yeah, of yeah, like yeah. Um, a, a <clears throat> snow scene or something like that, and yeah. you chop it up and put it into the window frames. This one is the instructions of how to do it, but if you haven't got a snow scene or a picture behind, what would you suggest we put in there? A very patterned fabric will work. So my mum did one with birds. So this one with, has the birds in it. Quite, so quite a large print. Like this? Uh, yeah. That one there? Yeah. So Is you that could, one you've got? Yeah, you could cut it out so that you've got Oh, yes, 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 yes. I'm window. not talking about this fat quarter, but if you have no, a print no. like this. Yeah. And she cut it out like she fussy cut it the, the yeah. square where the picture would be. Well, that sounds nice. So you could do that or... Um, you could do an applique, so you mm. could do an applique of cats or dogs or oh, anything. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So anything um, now, you want to showcase in those windows. I'm just looking, seeing if it tells you what size panel this one started off with. If you have got a panel, it's right. You need twelve. I tell you what, you need. You need twelve equal rectangles, which are twenty-five centimeters wide and twenty-seven centimeters tall. Yeah. So you need to know that your panel was big enough to cut into those si into 12 sizes that big. Yeah, it's a three quarter metre. So that, the panel that I used originally was not actually a panel. It was a length of fabric that was printed all directional, just a scene basically from selvage to selvage. Oh, OK. Yeah. So it was a three quarter width of a fabric like that, basically. Oh, OK. Yeah. So there you go. But then you got the instruction in here to the leaves and things on the corner there. Nine ninety nine. That's nothing. Do not do those by hand. It's not a hand American <laughs> hand piecing. Then I've got up, up and away rag quilt here. 
Now, uh, you'll know this because Alice and Mary, Mary and Alison does rag quilting quite a lot. But here we go. Oh, there are templates for it. Oh, yeah, for the mouse and the elephant. Is that a mouse? Well, yeah, once you put it all Once you put it together. <laughs> With the bits. There's the elephant. Yeah. Uh, and here it is. Here's the, um, that's the applique bit for inside there. Um, now, rag quilting is... It's a quilt as you go, basically. Right. So it's very good at get, using up all those extra bits of wadding right. or doing a quilt as you go if you don't want to do like all over quilting. Yeah. But it has a different texture. So you actually sew the back, the middle, the top all together, leaving your seam allowances, so half inch seam allowances. So squares, on the top. so you do like mini sandwiches. Yeah. And then you sew it together with the seams on the outside. Mm -hmm. So the back of it, will just look like neat squares. Yes. But the front of it, you'll see, it's like a de like in fashion, like a when you have deconstruction, when you have all the seams on the outside. Yep. And then, so is there a specific fabric you need to use, or can you do it with any fabric? You can do it with any fabric. It just needs to be sort of fray. -y. I did- Fray-y, um, fray is that a technical term, yeah. fray -y. <laughs> fray -y. Um, I did brushed cotton right. uh, for the original one, but um, we actually did a printed panel to make the demonstration, I, and it, I washed up beautifully. You do oh, have okay. to wash it and tumble dry it yeah. to get it all sort of manipulated so yeah. it comes up really nice. But yeah, but I've, I've actually lost that quilt because the cat has it. Link decided that's his quilt now. So Oh, you haven't lost it. It's just in Link's yeah. basket. Yeah, oh. well, on his, over his poof. <laughs> uh, 9 dollars so you get the instructions and the templates for yeah. your 9 99 there. Yeah, but I will be doing more templates at some point. So the oh, pattern good. will be the same, but there'll be different pl templates to Okay, lovely. And then the third one. Now, I was with you the very first time you ever oh, did yeah, this yeah, one. Yeah. Um, this is your reverse. <laughs> uh? I'm just remembering. Yeah, reverse <laughs> applique tessellated bird quilt. No, I'll tell you what it was, was we did it so in quarter, and uh, Emma marked all of it out with a friction pen. And then you have to iron on your bonder web and all the, all the birds disappeared or they all <laughs> flew away. So don't use a friction pen. But I mean, we're very interesting because people then sent in ideas of oh. what could be tessellated because you've obviously done the flying yeah, birds. Yeah. But the, people did all sorts like dinosaurs yeah, and all yeah, sorts yeah. of things, didn't they? Yeah. I actually did a class at Festival of Quilts last year uh -huh. of that. Um, but making it a tessellation so it could be anything. Yes. And yeah, that was really beautiful designs that came up. Beautiful, nine ninety nine. Yep. Okay, right. Do we need anything else, Hannah? Or oh, is that us done for this one? Oh, we got a photo. Ooh. That was the table you were looking at then. We've got a photo. Oh, here we go. Oh. Nothing to do with that. My patchwork jacket quilted with Sashiko from Julie in Welling. Beautiful. <gasps> so it's Kaif, it's Kaif yeah. isn't it? It's completely uh, patchworked. And then quilted it with Sashko stitching. Oh, Hannah wants it, Julie, just Gorgeous. so you know. Very it's lovely, nice. isn't it? Beautiful. Right, don't go anywhere. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. We'll see you in an hour's time. Yeah. yeah, trip around the world is what we're doing. Now, okay, so the one behind Emma isn't for sale oh. today. That's just yours off your bed, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, well, yeah, it's mine. But the yeah. bundle will make this, hang on, will make this size. There you go. The bundle you've got will make that size. We haven't got those fabrics. Go on, go on. It's huge. It is huge. It is huge. <laughs> well, I'm tiny, but it is huge. Yeah. Well, sure. no, no, because how many of us can't reach? Most of us can't reach <laughs> up there anyway. Um, we've got this in one colourway. Now, this is less than a quarter of it. So you make four of those and you make bits to go in between to make that, to make that over there. Yeah. These are the colours we've got. So we've got the rainbow. We've got the blues and we've got the purples. That's in an hour's time. But after the break, we're going to be making oh, a really lovely frock. Oh, this one, this frock here. We're going to make this frock here. And we're going to be chatting about the, uh, oh, she needs to clean that window. Look at her window there. I know she's only just moved in. I'll have to have words with her. We'll see you in four minutes from now. <laughs> I'm Rebecca Harrison. I live in Bromyard in Herefordshire with my three children and my dog. Um, I've been sewing for uh, over 30 years. Um, I first started um, at school. Um, we always did lots of sewing and my mum used to sew at home as well. So that's where my love of sewing has come from. My background is in costume, as I'm sure you can see. Um, and I, I make for film and theatre and TV. I've worked on films such as Titanic, Shakespeare in Love, 
Evita, James Bond, um, and theatre work. I've done things like Mary Poppins, Guys and Dolls, Prince of Egypt. Um, I've also worked for the Royal Opera House and the Royal Ballet. Um, when I worked at Angels, I was lucky enough to meet lots of film stars. They're all uh, walking around the building and in fittings. Um, and some of the people that I bumped into and met were Sir Richard Attenborough, um, Hugh Grant, Imelda Staunton, Juliette Binoche, um, and I even got in the lift with Christopher Lee. Um, and that's where I met the lovely John Scott, which obviously you all know. Um, I'm really pleased to be joining Sewing Street. I can't wait to see you all. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Now Rebecca's back. I've got the jacket from look for the eight o'clock hour on. It's nice, isn't it? Lovely. Look at Rebecca in her. Oh, you just look at spoil the surprise, Elliot. <laughs> You're supposed to follow the narrative, not make it, Elliot. So there's Rebecca in hers. Oh, yours is lovely. Right, rather nice, I mean, mine's lovely it? as well, but yeah, yeah. The fab that fabric lovely. sold out, but mine hasn't. <laughs> uh, my friend, uh, my, my friend JC, she does modelling for QVC, right? And she, and uh, watch this. They have that. They have their moves, don't they? they do. And then when they have three of them on. The three of them all do this all at the same time, don't they? And I think, how do they do that? Because we've got earpieces in, I think. Right, so this is the pattern. Uh, how many have I got left? Ten left when you've all checked out. That's all. Ten left. and then we'll... So we had a sellout in the, the last hour. We're going to have a sellout from the first hour when those last ten go as well. Sixteen ninety nine. It's lovely and comfortable to it's wear, comfortable. isn't it? Yeah, it's I mean, lovely. I know it's not meant for me, and I, I kind of, it's not complete... Morag, morning, sorry late, joining, was watching the curling, five to four to Sweden in extra end. Well, thanks, Morag, for that. Uh, sorry if I've spoiled anybody's view in there, <laughs> videoed it for later. But anyway, I could do a bit of curling. Oh, no, where's the... Where's the... We've got, the curling's the one where you throw the round thing and go like that really yeah. quickly, isn't it? Yeah. No, I can't do that. Anyway, I am just had to remind you about that from the first <laughs> hour, 16.99. However, we're not doing that this hour. We're doing... This dress, this hour. 
This dress, Elliot. Oh, it's there. It's there. Oh, sorry. It's behind me. Now, it comes in two sizes, right? Now, uh, this is going to confuse you because these are the real patterns. I'll just explain before we put graphics in. This is 6 to 20. This is 18 to 30. On the website, they've just used that picture. So what you need to do is if you want to buy the 6 to 20, that's this one. Graphics coming in. The Heather dress from Sew Over It. £17. Sizes 6 to 20 in that pattern there. Everything you need to know on the back, there's the version 1 and version 2. You've got the body measurements. You've got how much fabric you need and the, the finished garment size in inches. Seven, oh, sorry, you're going to come in. Sorry, 17 99 There you go. You see, what it is, is version one is all one colour, which is the one we've done. But version two is if you want to do it in, um, bi-coloured like that. Well, it looks like it's got, it's like those t-shirts that look like they've got jackets on, doesn't it? It's a very, very flattering seam line, that as well. Because this includes your pocket. This incorporates, not includes, incorporates your pocket. You see now, you see, I'm thinking day wear. And then you could make you could do something really, really kind of stunning and stylish. Do all the middle black, and then have some beautiful floral, or the other way around. Depends on which which uh, what body shape you are. Oh, okay. Elliot wants it in this bit red and this bit in black. He's very stuck in the eighties. <laughs> and you could do a short sleeve version as well, and a three quarter. What they're all in the pattern. Yeah. Oh, the hacks with it. Fantastic. £17. Right, so that size is 6 to 20. If you want this one, which is 18 to 30. Same dress, same dress, just been graded up for your sizes 18 to 30. Same price. Same price. Uh, what size did you make in the end? 20. Size 20. So that's £17. 18 to 30 is the sizing. Again, on, oops, on the back there. You've got your body measurements, how much fabric you'll need, and the finished garment in inches. Plus your hacks for your short sleeves and your three-quarter length sleeve. £17. Now I've got three fabrics available for this one. The one that the sample is made of is this lovely coral with uh, lovely sprig flowers on there. Now, how much have we got here? Three metres. Three metres of fabric there. I'm presuming it's wide, this fabric. Did you, oh, look, 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 look. Oh, yes, 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 look. Here you go. There you go. There's your fabric. It's got a lovely weight to it, hasn't it, this? Yeah. Now, you see, I, I, want, I want to say something now. It, it doesn't look that brilliant on the mannequin, no, does it? it no. And I don't mean that's no, nothing no, at you, no, and it's no. nothing against the pattern. You know, Jean Muir used to say, the less hanger appeal a dress has got, the better it's going to look on. This is going to look so lovely on, it just looks a little bit sad on the, on the hat man. Yeah. Look, you see, I mean, it's a gorgeous pattern and I don't want to put anybody off, but in real life, it needs a body inside it to come, really, really come to life, doesn't yeah, it? I agree. And yeah. the drape of this fabric is beautiful. The, it's a really lovely, it feels very, very expensive. 46 99 which is not for three metres. Go on, Hannah. It's beautiful. It's like a heavy jersey. It's lovely. Do you know what that'd be lovely as well for like, um, if you're not going to make this, but like kind of t-shirts and leggings and things like that. Good for when you go back to the gym, Hannah. <laughs> we haven't talked about the gym for ages. I haven't been for two over two years now. It's sad yeah. really, isn't it? Well, no, when this COVID started, I stopped. I couldn't be. Oh, no, that's a fib, isn't it? I went the once when they opened, they reopened, and I was on the running machine, right? And there was somebody on that running, a married couple came in, and she went on that one, and I was really awkward because I was on the, on the middle. He went to that one, and they were running, and they were like breathing on me, and I was like, oh. I'm sure that, not, uh, no, I, I say the breathing, I have to breathe to run. <laughs> but I, I was thinking, I spent two years not being near anyone, yeah. not allowed to hug anybody, but I can stand here and I can smell that she's had onions for her lunch, you know what I mean? It was like, <laughs> so I didn't go again. Didn't go again. Right, okay, I love the, look at the, just the drape, the way this folds. Be it's so lovely, gorgeous colour. Right, that's 46 99 that one. Then we've also got the one here that uh, Rebecca's going to demo in. 
Oh, this is nice. This is so, this is the same fabric, right? Imagine, imagine that. Well, you're going to see it put together now. That's going to look gorgeous. Three meters of jersey. 44.99. Beautiful. It's lovely. It's digitally printed as well, look. It's going to feel lovely, that. Re and I bet it washes up well, this as well. Mm. Okay, 44 pounds and 90, 49 pence. And then the last but not least, now, this is like a rose. Now, this is a different fabric. This is, feels more fleecy. It's, it's not fleecy, but it feels like the inside is, is more soft touch. That's exactly the words I was looking for. So this will be your outside here. And then the inside here has got that lovely, almost like a, a flannelette almost, but it's not heavy like a flannelette, but it's going to be lovely against your skin. 31 99 for your three metres. Um, how does the neck, how's the neck finished off? It's, it's like a... A binding. A binding, yes. I'm just, th I'm going to be a bit controversial here. I might do the binding around the neck in a different colour. Only because, only because, I'm only going to say that because sometimes, depending on your skin tone, this can be draining. Other, other, pe other people, like if you're a lady of a certain age with greying hair, this will look lovely because it will lift you like that. But if you're kind of florid like I am, you might just need another colour in between you and the fabric. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I don't want to put anybody off. I'm just, I don't want you to make it and then go, oh, I look a bit, you know, washed out in this. Mm. Oh, okay. I need green, apparently. No, I need green makeup. You put green makeup on if you've got red skin. Yeah. He won't need to know any of that with his new job, will he? Right. Right. Now, the other thing I've got this hour is the coat. Should we get on with this or should I introduce that as well? So I'll introduce the pattern, first of all. Now, you will have seen Adele make this a couple of weeks ago. Again, I'll just show you these before the graphics come in. It's the same jacket. It's the same thing. This is the Dorothy jacket, 6 to 20, 18 to 30. Um, now, I don't know on the website which picture they've used. This one. So th that one's on for both of them on the website. But obviously, this is the 6 to 20. It's the same jacket, same techniques. It's just graded up. So that's your 6 to 20 there. 22nd of January, Adele did this. 22nd of January. Oh, okay, there it is. She's in a red stretch gabardine. I've got it here on the set. Right, and then the other size is the 18 to 30. If you look on pre-order, I've got the fabric in black cerise. They call it mink, but it's more like rust and bright red. And we've got on the website all the studs and the eyelets and the cord and everything is all on there. Right, if we get chance, we'll talk a bit about that when we get to the end of the dress. But we're main, concentrating on the dress on the show. Now, this seam and pocket, is it difficult? Um, no, if you're a beginner, it might make you just have a little think. I mean, it's, it's illustrated very well yes. um, in the little booklet. And um, it's just one of those things where I think you've just got to uh, take your time at each stage. Right. And then, because you could confuse yourself. Of course. You know? It says confident beginner, though, yeah. on the pattern. So, yeah. 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 Okay. No, it's, it's, not, it's not difficult. It's just getting your head around which bit goes where. where? That's and all. the fabric, have you used a special needle with yeah, it? Yeah, so ballpoint. You definitely need a ballpoint needle. Yeah, and um, a slight zigzag as well because you want that stretch okay on your or on if your you've seam. got one they say you've got stretch stitches on the machine yeah yes yeah, yeah yeah or overlock yeah but i wouldn't i wouldn't overlock um the seam with the pocket right because okay. you, you have to be very precise and it's difficult to do that in a with, overlock. a, with an overlocker yeah. isn't it yeah. um yeah so i've done one side right so you so you can see it's difficult to see actually isn't it yeah but just put your hand inside there the pocket there Look, you go there it is so I've done, done one side. Right. Um, and on the back, it lays really flat. So oh, in the yes. end, it'll, it'll end up like that. And the so other thing about this fabric, flat. it doesn't fray, does it? No. So you don't need to worry about no. finishing off on this no, one. No, no. And uh, this, this um, one especially doesn't, um, doesn't curl up oh, very it? much. It's oh. quite, it's, yeah, it stays quite flat. Yeah. See, when, you, when you've cut it, so that's one yeah, of my, normally one of my cut pieces. Yeah, exactly. So doing it very slightly, but not very much at no. all. So 
I hate it when you make yeah, an outfit and it rolls into a, like a cigar and you're like, oh, you know. I know, I know. So um, on your pattern pieces, there's um, little uh, circles where you need to stop and start on this. So the way that I have approached that is I've done little tacks. Where tailor tacks. Tailor tacks. Yep. I don't know if you can see that. Um, oh, well, here he comes. <laughs> it's a little tailor tack right. there. Okay. Um, so I know where that is, and then I've done it on the front piece. Okay. Um, so so the 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 side front and then the the front piece. Right. So you know where they you know where they are, but then they're, they're very easy once you've sewn to just pull out. Yeah, of so course. You're not you won't see them. Yeah. But it's just it's just so you've got a guide. Yes. A visual when when you're sewing, so you know exactly. So. If you couldn't see it on the pattern, the front seam comes down here from like the side front. There's no seam down the centre. No. no. There's no seam down the centre front of the dress. So your seams are here and here. And then that seam, it almost looks like a princess seam, comes down but then swerves round here to create your pocket, your pocket bag, oh, your pocket bags in there. So that's where we were just, have you got the pattern pieces out by any yeah. chance? Just so we can show, because it's the pattern pieces are going to look an unusual shape, aren't they? Yeah. And they won't be what you're used to. So. <coughs> Let me find... Right, that's, the, that's your front panel. Right. So yeah, it does, so you've got this, this sort of big scoop. Right. That's um, out of your pattern there. So is this the centre uh, the down this here? Is, is this this, is, centre this is your centre front, which, which is going to be, where well, you're going to cut it on your fold. Yeah. Um, that's your little pocket bag, and then so that's that's the side front. So it does. It looks a bit odd. Yes. And that's as you as so I was saying. So where are the circles so you were just talking those about? Those are the little circles there. Right. On your pattern piece. So you've got you've got one on um, the side front. You've got one on. Um, the main front piece yeah. and then you've got one on the pocket bag and obviously you mark up the size mark all yeah mark because it moves the, the dot yes, moves with yes, the different yeah. sizes doesn't so it? mark um whichever size that that you decide on that you've cut out yeah then um obviously follow that on there and then your pocket will be in exactly the same you know the right, right place, place yeah. for where you need it to be so um so that's that. So what, what you're going to do first is you're going to get your side front piece mm -hmm. and pin it down to one of those marks. Okay. You don't want to go any further than that. So then we're going to just stitch that in. So with a slight zigzag. So, right, this has put itself back to, right, hang on. There we go. So again, this is um, a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. Uh -huh. So I'm just going to make sure, yeah, that's in the right place. There you go. That's it. And you've got notches on your pattern so you can, um, you know, make sure that your fabric hasn't stretched and line those up. Yeah, so you're not pulling it through anything, just letting no, it go. No, yeah, just, le through. just letting now, it go. Would, if you've got a walking foot, would you use a walking foot when you're using this jersey? Yeah, yeah, you could, you, you could do. Yeah. Yeah, because it, it, it would... Um, make it a bit easier this this one yeah um is very stable yes this jersey yeah but if you're using a different jersey and it's a bit slippy yeah. just use your walking foot. yeah yeah definitely so i'm just going to press that so take my pin out mm -hmm. so as you can see i've only gone down to there right and then um you get your pocket bag 
So that's that shape there. So again, I've got that little mark. Uh -huh. So you're going to put right sides together, move that piece out of the way. Right. Because you don't want to be stitching that. So um, mark, line up your um, your marks on your pocket bag to the marks on the dress. Uh huh. And I'm just going to put a pin that way so then I know that my fabric isn't going to move. Yeah whilst I'm stitching it. And then we're just going to follow that round. So this is, this edge here makes yeah. that, love that corner there. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, hang on, hang on. Hannah's directing at the moment, so there might be a few delay. There you go. That's this bit here. Yeah. Well done, Han. <laughs> right, back, back over there now. To the machine on camera four. Go. <laughs> We don't know what that means. Perhaps she's not allowed to hard cut. Oh, what does that mean? It's a very technical term. I know. Apparently you can't go straight to the shop because it's too dangerous, apparently. <laughs> don't know who for who, but you know. And then you literally so go, go till they you're going to run over your dot, do you? Because you want to catch no, the fabric no. above No, no. So it. just yeah. So just careful as you um, go up to that mark. Mm -hmm. So then, what you can do, the pattern says, you can um, cut into this. But what I would say is, put your pocket all together first before you cut in, because you might not need to. Um, because of the jersey, so right. you, you might not need not need to. So if you know if if it if it's sitting properly and you don't need to do it, there's you know check before you actually go ahead and do that. Uh -huh. So now what we're going to do? So this is where you could get a little bit confused. Right. So now I've got obviously that bit there, and there's that bit there. So there. Right, hang on. Can we doing, see that from upstairs, Hannah? There you go. Brilliant. Thank you. Yeah. OK, yeah. so that's that's my pocket bag. Yeah. And that's the front of the dress. Right. So you've got this curve here and this curve here. So what we're going to do is we're going to join those curves together. So that will sit there. Now, is the curve going in the same direction? So you've not got. A no, no, no. The, yeah, the curve. So the curve. So if that is flat like that. Right. So the curve is going. Yes. So yeah. there's none of that trying to put a concave into a no. convex. You're literally following yeah. a seam. Yeah, yeah. You're just you're just following yeah. that round. Because I yeah. think that's what's frightening people is when they get a concave bits fit into a convex bit, and you think, I mean, it'll go, but it's that. But always this, you're just laying it flat yes. on top, and it's yeah. the same shape. Yeah. yeah. And then it just it it just lays really nicely. The seam lays very flat yeah. on the inside. It's an, it's um, it's nice. So let me just whiz around there. Okay. So again, you need to make sure that you stop and start where that mark is to try, you know, try not to go over because otherwise you won't get a nice smooth Yeah, but you, are you edge. starting at the other end and saying round? I'm going to start, I'm going to start there and come up to it. Right. Yeah. It's, right. it's, it's, it, to be honest, it's up to you which yeah. way you want to do it. Only sometimes if you start at the other end, like you're going to, if you've got any creepage, it means you end up with a bit of a, a blip at the end yes there, yes so that's going to happen now isn't it yeah <laughs> sorry <laughs> tempting fate now you've said it Stitching takes a little bit longer because when you zigzag, obviously you're doing as more stitches than you yeah. would be if you were just doing a straight line. Yeah. So as you're approaching it, just make sure 
that you're keeping everything out of the way. Yeah. So that you're not going to attach anything in there that doesn't need yeah. need or want to be attached. Yeah, Hannah says if you're wearing a skirt, make sure that's out the way as well in case you get that caught in. Yeah, oh, well, yes. Well, you... What are you doing with your skirt up by your well, exactly, sewing Hannah, machine? What are you doing with but then it happens. You it see, does. No, it I does. I was beading. When I was at college, I've told this story before, I was, be I was watching Brideshead Revisited on the telly and I was beading ballet bodices for Swan Lake. Right? And I was sitting watching the telly with my dressing gown on, beading away like this, got up at the, inter at the advert break and I'd stitched the whole of the my toweling dressing gown to the back. Oh, I've done that of this thing. So instead of unpicking it, I just cut, I cut a hole in my dressing gown. And that poor old ballerina that wore that one outfit had toweling all, in, <laughs> all inside her body. I know, but you don't want to go, you don't want to unpick that though, do you? Well, no, because you, you have to bead, ev when it's ballet, you have to bead every bead yes. individually. So yeah. I've had to unpick every single bead. Yeah. But it's fine. <laughs> We've all done it. Yeah. We've all done it. Right, so, so what's you end say? up oh, with yeah. it looking like like this. Right, which, hang on a sec. There you go. Bit, right. a bit put, your hand, put your hand in so we can see what. So that, that there you go. There's that, the that is going to go. become Perfect. your pocket there. Yeah. So I'm before I attach the, the um, that little bit to the side. So I'm just going to give that a press because I want to make sure that it's lying flat. Right before I attach it. Yeah, we just couldn't see with the pattern where. No, the, where it's the difficult, is, isn't it? Yeah. It is difficult to see. So I was going to press that bit in the inside. Oh, Hannah's gone back to being produced now. So the main graphic is the smaller size pattern. The right hand pattern is, doesn't say that, that that's the um, 18 to 30 and it's got the wrong picture on it. We're going to swap them over now. Okay, right. You know, I said people were sending me in personal messages, right? I've just had one from Stuart Hillard saying, Panettone bread and butter pudding, it's easy and delicious. And then the whole recipe of how to make it. <laughs> he said he never stops Stuart, does he? If he's not doing bag patterns or knitting patterns or cooking or feeding the goats, he's busy, busy, busy all the time. Right, so you're just pressing it I'm into place. I'm just placing. pressing that pocket oh. down. Get that nice crisp edge. Mm -hmm. And this is when you'll know actually whether you need to put, you need, you need to cut into that seam. Yeah. Because you'll be able to see whether it's lying. Yeah, you shouldn't have to on this fabric. Flat though, or you? not, no. That's my belt buckle catching on the table there. And then all I'm going to do is just pin that down to that side seam. So within the seam allowance, uh -huh. I'm just going to stitch that down. Right, so you're just so, holding it in place. So, yeah, not, yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's just, so as you can see, it just I'd follows, love, I think it's follows lovely, that It's a lovely, round. elegant look, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. So you can just pull. Yeah. So there's no top stitching or anything like that? All those stitches, right. no, I mean no. you could, Yeah, you, well, uh, if you wanted to, I don't think you need no, to no, really. No, I don't think you need to. There no. we go. We could hear you chattering, Elliot. It's very well behaved, this jersey. Yes. It's nice, it's nice to work with. There, so that's just got that anchored down there now. And that's the front of your dress. Uh-huh. Like so. With your pockets in. So it's it's um 
it's it's quite relatively easy. Yes. I think I think sometimes in your head when you look at things like that, you think, oh gosh, that looks, that looks a bit. All, yes, exactly. That looks a bit tricky, yeah. but it but it, it really isn't. It's it's um it's quite simple to do. And really. then all your bust shaping. This is technical now, it's but it's in it's there. in that seam. So yeah. There's no darts or anything no. like that. It's all within that seam, isn't yeah. it? Very yeah, clever. that's what gives it all the shaping. Yeah, yeah. no, it is clever. Okay. So that's your front. Perfect. So put that to one side. Uh huh. For a moment and we're going to start working on the back so there's my oh i've put one of these in so the shaping on the yes, back yes i as thought well. the back was just going to be a straightforward no, back no, but they've no. actually echoed the seamage from the front yeah. onto the back as well yeah yeah so i've put one in already uh-huh so it just it just it's just a nice gentle curve yeah there. yeah well i suppose when you if you're going to do the bi-colored one You'd have to have done that because it would look odd if you'd done the front with yeah. that curve and then suddenly the back was all yeah. just one colour. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. So now we're just going to pin this one mm -hmm. into place. So again, there are notches to line it up with so you know exactly where you should be. And obviously you're sewing round a curve. Uh-huh. I know some, a lot of people don't like doing that, do they? But it's again, it's just if you take your time, yeah. And it does, you know, it does fit in. You just ease it in gen yeah. gently. You don't have to pull it or anything. Try try not to pull your jersey, yeah. otherwise, um, you know, it'll go out of shape. Yeah. Yeah, that goes really, really smoothly, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it just... Yeah, but it's here. I suppose it's this, this is bit here, here where yeah. you've got the two curves going against each other that yeah. I was saying about earlier. But again, it will... It, it Sometimes it looks and you think, oh, that's never going to... That's never going to go in there. Yeah. But it does. It just... Just ease it in. There we go. Facebook working yet, Elliot? Come on. Will you chase them up? Is there a problem everywhere with it? Did it say that again? Is there a problem everywhere? No, with no, it's it? just no. ours. No. No. So as I'm starting to go around this curve now, I'm just going to keep making sure from the inside that... Right, that's why you've, you've got your hand I've between the hand, fabrics yeah. like that, just to check it doesn't... Um, I want to make sure that I don't catch any. Yeah. And don't get a little crease in there. Again, don't pull it through the fa uh, through the machine. Just let it slide. Yeah, just through let the it machine. go through, and it will. It'll. Yeah. It's really lovely to work with, actually. This one. So there we go. That's another. It comes together very quickly, doesn't it? Can the dress be lengthened? Says Margaret. Has it got a a uh, length and line on it? Let's have a look. No, it doesn't. But it's going, um, is it going straight down, or is it, how how flared it, is the side seam? Is, I mean, not really. No, it's got a, we've got a, li a little bit of shape in there over your hip. Yeah. 
Um, and it's flaring so, out a slightly. Okay, so I would just carry it on from the bottom. Yes. I wouldn't even split it. I'd just no. carry it down from the Yeah. Yeah. So depending on Margaret, was it Margaret, did you say? Depending on how much you want, I would just carry the pattern on down because it's got a slight flare on it, but you just keep that going. Don't play with the hip line and don't play with the line where the pocket comes. So, so I'd just say add it onto the bottom. You'll yeah. be fine. <clears throat> and there was another question to say. Gail's question is, morning lovely, it's great demo. Can I ask, would you face the neck rather than bind it? Um, no. No, it might be a bit tricky in, in Jersey, I yeah. would say. I think I think you might be causing yourself a few yeah. problems. It's not there. it's not difficult. We'll get we'll get we're gonna get to that, aren't yeah. we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not yeah. it's not a difficult binding at all. I'll let uh, Rebecca explain. It's not a difficult one to do at all, so don't worry. No, it isn't. You're just worried that you don't want it to look like a T-shirt. You just the other thing would be is if you faced it, the neckline would be even lower, wouldn't it? The neckline would be down there. Yes. If you faced it. Oh, Elliot said that's nicer with it lowered down. Oh, okay. It's personal. So how would you face? How would you it? face it then, Elliot? How would you face it then? Get someone else to do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> right, so now we're going to join the shoulders first. I mean, I mean, I know we both went no, but you you could do it if you wanted to. But you're going to make uh, you'd have to first of all make the pattern for the facing. Yeah. And secondly, jersey, you'd have to have some interfacing on the inside. And I just think you're uh, you're off making yeah, say making yourself more making it more difficult for yourself. Yeah, I think so. I suppose you could make the binding narrower if you wanted to, if you didn't want it to look so much like a t-shirt neck, I suppose. Yeah. One more question. It's nice, this we like getting your questions. Beverly, do you recommend washing this fabric before I cut it out? Is it cotton jersey? It's definitely cotton jersey. I mean, I always, don't you? For dressmaking, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, always, I always wash the mm -hmm. fabric first because yeah. I think it, um, well, it's, um, every, just e in case. Just in case of shrinkage. Most, yeah. most cotton fabrics will have a slight shrink, shrinkage to them. Also, I will say this for dressmaking. When, if you think about when a fabric, and then I'll just tell you this. When a fabric is made, depending on where it's made, say it's made in India, right? It's made in India, it sits in a warehouse in India. It then gets wrapped up, it gets shipped. It then gets to a warehouse in England, it's unpacked. It then waits for someone like Sewing Street to buy it. Then comes to our warehouse in another truck. And, and I just think, especially in this yes. day and age, I'd just, wash, I'd just wash it. Then you know it's lovely and fresh when you start. If there is going to be any shrinkage, I, I doubt there would be shrinkage in this one, I have to say, but you just know that it's going to be ready. Yeah, and Hannah says even she would have had a shower if she'd had to do that journey from India. <laughs> Clap just... wrapped in cling film. <laughs> it's just better, isn't it, to know that you've... Yes, yeah, yeah. And then you don't have to worry then, do you, that no. when you're going to make, take space. No, and also imagine if you did make it and then oh, it and pulled then it, or yeah. shrank or anything oh, like yeah, that. Oh yeah, no, it's horrible, isn't it? I've gone through all that trouble. So I'm just going to, I'm going to press these seams open. Right. And then we've got the clear. Oh, have you? Stay tape. Oh. Oh, it's out of stock. Oh. Sold out. We did have it in okay. when we sent it, but it's out of stock now. Oh, okay. Anyway, so you're. Is it necessary? Do you have to put it? In? Well, I mean, it's it's a it's advisable, I think, with jersey, isn't it? Yeah. Because otherwise, that seam over time could grow. Could I use anything else? Yeah, I mean tape. I mean, I I I don't tend to use the the, uh, the a clear one. I I tend to use a tape, a very a bias narrow, tape or just a, a very straight narrow tape. straight tape. Yeah, like a cotton tape. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's what I tend to use. So um, this pattern um, tells you to just put it on um, the back. On the seam allowance. The, on the seam allowance okay. on the back. But I don't think it really matters. You can. 
There's also one that we used to sell, which is like a, a like a bias interfacing with a stitch line in it. So it's biased, but it's oh. got a line of stitching. You put the line of stitching where your seam is and then you just stitch it down and it holds holds the whole thing. We must, we should get oh, some of that. That's very good, isn't yeah. it? Jules uses that a lot. So yeah, so I'm just gonna move the rest of that out of the way. Mm -hmm. So I've cut I've cut this a lot longer than I need it, but right. then I but I I'm you know, That's I'd, why we've got on left. Rather, been wasteful. I know. I'd rather um, cut it after it's on, really. Yeah. But yeah, you don't. Oh yeah, yeah. You, you don't because if you make it too short, you'll then stretch you it on and you'll to. do the wrong thing. Yeah. So you're just zigzagging onto the seam. Zigzagging that on. Yeah. On the back. Just pulled that out. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Got a mind of its own, this stuff. I know, like Elliot. <laughs> in the gutter. You'll miss him, really. Don't tell him that. <laughs> the thing is, he'll always be able to see me in his dreams. <laughs> Aren't you, Elliot? Okay, so I'll just trim those down. Right. And then we do the side seams. Oh, so the sleeves the sleeves go in as an inset sleeve afterwards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So again, you've got your notches. Uh -huh. so line those up. Elliot says, could it be made sleeveless? Um, I think, mm. Elliot, if you made it sleeveless, you'd have to alter the armhole because the, when you have an armhole with the sleeve going in, it's a different uh, size to if you do a sleeve, an armhole that's going to be sleeveless because yeah. an armhole that's going to be sleeveless is fitted into the armhole, whereas this one's got ease and movement underneath it. But there's uh, three different lengths of sleeve on this. Yeah, so there's a li there's a little cap sleeve. It's funny that it's not drawn on the back. It's not mentioned on the back at all. Where's the pattern? Where's you. the pattern? Where's the pattern? There it is. So I've done the three quarter. So that's your full length sleeve. Right there. There's your three quarter. Right. Oh, it's all on. It's all it's on all one. On it's pattern. all on yeah. one. Yeah, and okay, there's yeah. there's your little cap. Oh, that'd Which be quite actually sweet. quite nice with a little cap, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. But that's quite nice that you've got that option. Yes, no, definitely. In that, definitely. In, you know, in, within one pattern. Yeah. Whatever it is you do, the fabric are the fabrics are medium weight jersey such as ponty, double knits or interlock knits. And it says you need 30 centimetres of either clear elastic, stay tape or ribbon to put in the shoulders. Oh, there you go. There you ribbon go. would be nice. It'll also line up your the seam, so your your um, side back seam uh -huh. with the side foot. So that comes at the point where the pocket begins. Yeah. So I'm just going to put a pin in there so I know I don't want it yeah, to. Yeah, you need that to match up, don't yeah, you? Yeah. Especially if you're doing the, the bi-coloured one, you definitely need to do that. Yeah. Uh, Veronica, yeah, Veronica, my lovely, it comes in every size between a six. And a 30. So if yours, I'd say sure, it's a 14. 
12. If you're a 12, you need to buy the 6 to 20 because it has size 6, size 8, size 10, size 12, size 14, 16, 18, and 20. And then in that one, it goes 18, 20, 22, all the way up to 30. So that's the one you want there, which is the one in the graphics now. Uh, more than half the stock has gone already of that one. Right, let's get these side seams. Sure, your um, pocket is flat at yep. the back as you're going over it. It's quite a few layers. When you get to the um, pockets, there's yeah. quite a few layers there to go through. Yeah. How uh, long would you say it would take to make this dress then? Oh. Do it in a day, do you think? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. But you don't have to rush. I mean, you don't have to take it in a day, but I'm just thinking if you want to wear it the next day. Yeah. Get invited out for lunch or something the next day. Oh, yeah, no, it's definitely... I mean, once, once you've done um, the pockets, but, you know, there are easy to do. Yes, yeah, yeah. Once, once you've done that, it all goes together very quickly mm. actually and also there's no finishing off seams are there no the, the, the jersey like i say doesn't fray or anything so no that's the great seams. that's the great bit about <coughs> it isn't it got any questions do get them in best to either email or send in on the white box on the uh website oh message hi sorry to ask another question L margaret don't apologize at all does the material absolutely need to be stretched, love, mags in Minehead? Yes. Because there's no, there's no openings or anything like that, so it will need to be stretched to get it on over your head. And also the designer has said that it needs to be uh, medium weight jersey fabric, such as Ponte de Roma, double knits or interlock knits. So yes, it does need to be a stretch. It doesn't need to be a huge stretch, but it does have to have stretch in it. Oh, yes. You see this picture, Rebecca? What's that? Sorry. This picture you've sent in. This what picture? room's that in? Oh, look at my windows. That's I exactly know. what I just said. I know. That's my conservatory. Do you know what? I didn't, re I didn't, re I didn't realise. And then I sent them. And I was just flicking through and I thought, oh, my God. <laughs> I cannot believe I can't believe you just showed that. Uh, no, well, Elliot showed it, not me, obviously. Elliot, I thought you Elliot, were my friend. he's leaving, it's fine. <laughs> um, the thing is, he's being um, brutal. if you came to my house now, you'd be disgusted with the windows. because the, It's because the sun is so low. On the inside, we've got cat noses all over the windows and everything. <laughs> but, um, but when it's this, like, and also the, one, the ones in the kitchen all splashed from the sink and everything like that. But no. anyway. It's very difficult, isn't it? Yeah, get out of the sink. Get out of the sink having your bath. <laughs> Right, let's put this Go neck. on then. Let's put this um, neck. Yes. In. So is that what you so, do is before the sleeves, you do the neck first? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So get, get your neck in. So yeah. get your neck in. Wind your neck in. <laughs> Wind, Wind your neck in, Wind your neck. Um, So yeah, so it's, it's the, the fabric is just, it's cut on the fold. So you've got one seam um, and I've um, pressed it in half so that I know exactly... Now, I'm going to ask a silly question now. Do you just cut it on the straight? Yeah. Because it's stretchy. You don't yeah. need to think about the bias or no. anything like that. No. See, usually you would, yeah. wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Usually you would have to do that. So, um, 
it's up to you where you want to line the seam right. on on the neck uh, whether you want to line it up with one of the center back seams or actually you know directly on the center back where have you put yours oh you put it on with one of the seams yeah, yeah. that's a good idea question from kelly uh, hi both great shows always is the size 20 on both patterns the same size or is it graded differently <gasps> good question kelly oh, right so size 20 question. on this one is for a body 45 38 48 oh it is it is kelly you're right okay right so the size 20 on the 6 to 20 right i'll just turn that over the body measurements are 45 38 48 right and then the finish size is uh 45 44 50 and a half you don't need much ease in it because it's uh, elasticated uh, a stretch right but then on the other size 20 here it's 47 40 50. so you're right oh now that is a brilliant question um, and then again, so the, the finish size in inches on the 20 there, 46, 40, yep. So it's like the, the size 20 in this one is slightly bigger than the size 20 in that one. So now on the, on the, um, on our website, do we have the backs of the patterns? Right, okay, I'm going to put them like this and let Elliot come in so that you can see just to double check so you can see your body measurements. Right, there you go. There's your, take the graphs out. So these are your body measurements of the uh, 6 to 20. These are your body measurements of the 18 to 30. As you can see, the 20s are slightly different. I hadn't even thought of that as a question. That no, is such a brilliant question. question. It's the same with the 18, look. 43, 45, 36, 38, 46, 48. Oh, that's something for me to look out for in the future. Thank you for that. Can you put the graphics back in now, Elliot? I wonder why that is. Well, I presume... Oh, I don't know. Because you'd think it would be the same, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. I've always thought it was the same, mm. but obviously... Well, no, because the 18's the same, Elliot. I have to look into that one. I might get in touch with them. Um, so over it and ask. No, 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 no. I, 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 no, no, because I need to know the answer, don't I? So, if I? so I can tell you next time. Right, okay. So, so now you've depend. folded the neckband over. Yeah, so now you've I'm... You've matched the seam of the neckband with one of the seams of the side yeah. back. Yeah, so what I'm doing now is I'm just... Um, working it round to make sure that um i haven't got more you know what more on one bit than the yeah. other what i've done is i've i've found the um where would be the front yes. from where i've marked up uh, where, where i've positioned that um that seam at the back um and then i'm just equaling it yeah, because normally they on this the neck band is slightly smaller, isn't it? Yeah, it the, is, um, I mean it is. It is. It is. Marginally. It is marginally. Yeah, it is. It is slightly yeah. smaller, but not massively. There you go. So this is where an overlocker would come in handy. Yes. You could just overlock yeah. around that seam, couldn't you? Yeah, definitely. And also to sort of neaten it off, really, yes, to yeah. finish it off. Um, Lindsay, you can overlock it, but we're suggesting don't do this seam with an overlocker where you put the pocket in because it, you have to be so precise for that bit there. But you can put the sleeves in with an overlocker, you can put the band on with the overlocker and you could do the side seams with the overlocker. You just wouldn't be able to do the curved seam where the pocket is. 
Well, she looks like a bit desabillé in that shot, doesn't she? that your seams are going the right way. Is this a smaller seam allowance on this one? Was it the same seam allowance around? As yeah, the dress? It, this is um, a centimetre. Right, but the rest of the dress was um, one point five. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, Glennis. Going forward, we will do that. We we always used to do it. Yeah, can you put it? Oh, Hannah will put it in the shift report again, and I'll mention it. Not that I've got any more power than Hannah, but um, no. We both have zero power. <laughs> so I'm just making sure that my uh, shoulder seams are open. Yeah. Stop moving. Glennis, if you need any help, you can go to the Sew Over It website for the back of these. But we, in the meantime, we will promise to ask to put, for our team to put them on for you. gets tucked inside uh-huh you need to give it a good press really good press yeah have we got no 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 we, we're trying to have time to do that no now. so you, and then and then you then, the and then yeah or if if you've got a um a twin needle yeah you can twin needle it and also the the hem and the sleeves depending on what you, what you want to do mine's of course, just got yeah. a single uh, um, now very quickly when you set the sleeves in was there any ease or did they just go in flat um just very very slight there's nothing yeah. really they go in beautifully actually okay, perfect. yeah brilliant yeah okay we've got to finish there thank you ever so much That's when are you in okay. next um 16th of march oh 16th of march Shabbily. well we shall see you then yes indeed uh, oh no oh you won't see elliot again no i've got to say goodbye to him now oh no. you'll get tearful <laughs> and when he was telling me the other day he was leaving he was sobbing his heart oh i was like <laughs> Oh, man's got an idea very quickly. Uh, the large ones are curvier and based on a D cup. There we go. Ah. It's been designed on a different block. The smaller size is a B cup from Amanda. Thank you, Amanda, for that. Yes, of course. There you go. I knew there Makes must be a reason. Sense, I couldn't figure it? out what it was. Right, yeah. okay. So that one there is your 18 to 30. On the website, it's not that picture. It's that picture. But just so you know, you just check that it's the size 18 to 30 that you want. Yeah, so if you've got a, a bigger bust cup size, then buy this one. Like a D, did you say D cup size? D, yeah. Yeah, and then if you've got a B cup size, you, if you're, and you're 18 and 20, you buy the, this other one. Moving on. There we go, so that's the 6 to 20. What you must always do is always go by your, um, so if you buy a size, say if you buy a size 14 or size 12 in the shop, don't necessarily automatically make a size 12 or 14. Look at the sizes that, the, that it's been graded up to. So I don't know Hannah's measurements, but I'm saying maybe she's a 12. No, 10, 14. So you should be 39 bust, 32 waist, 42 hip. 
Oh, okay. I'll ask for you. Seventeen pounds. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the answer. I generally don't know the answer. Uh, gorgeous. Right, we're going to move on. We'll see you in March then. Thank you. Oh no, we haven't got time to do the no. coat. Um, sorry, she's done all this prep for us for the coat at home, but we haven't got time to do that. You don't mind, do you? No, Save no, it for no, next no. time. I'll make sure they do it for you next time. <laughs> <laughs> don't be pulling faces on telly. Uh, right, I will. Oh no, I'm not going home. I'll see you in four minutes. We've got Emma Bradford doing a trip around the world. See you in four. Hello, I'm Dawn Taylor from Dawn's Taylor Made. You may remember me from the Great British Make Off competition. Um, I sewed my tablet rest last year with the lovely John Scott. Uh, Sewing Street have invited me back again to do a few more demonstrations for you, but they've also asked me to answer some questions. So the first thing I sewed was a ladybird pin cushion and I made it at primary school. And my late nanny Jo, she taught me how to knit and I think I got my love of sewing from her. She used to sew on that sewing machine over there. Um, something you don't know about me is I sew standing up. Um, my husband built me this sewing table. It's very similar to the one that you see on Sewing Street. My tip is more haste, less speed. My nan was always telling me to slow down um, and to enjoy what I was sewing and I would make less mistakes. And we also have a YouTube channel and a few Facebook pages. I cannot wait to start my journey with Sewing Street and I will see you there very soon. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our website, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again.
Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Emma's trip around the world in a jiffy. Not a jiffy bag, it's a jiffy quilt. Yeah! So Hannah will be being transported from India in uh, Snappy's Clingfield, and Emma's going around the world in a jiffy. Right, instructions on their own, because they're not included in the bundles, because we're thinking you might have your own fabric, like the one behind Emma on the wall, she's used all her own fabric. So, now what you need is, if you're doing it this way, there's 12 different colours in there, no, in the one on the wall, there's 12, that's right, isn't it? 12 different colours, so you need 60 centimetres of each one. Obviously, we've got more than that because we've got six and we double up the colours. So anyway, 9 99 all the instructions, all your layouts, all your how to put it together, how to unpick it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, no, you need an unpicker. You do? You need an unpicker. Yeah. At nine pounds and nine, and so having said that, she's just going to find hers. Yeah. <laughs> <Come on back. laughs> 9.99. Gorgeous. It's always been very, very popular, this quilt. It's very effective, but actually quite straightforward. There's Emma's. And there's, that's what one of the colourways we've got. You could have ironed it, Elliot. Gorgeous. 9 99 Now I've got three different colourways for you to choose from. The rainbow, now you get a metre and a half of each of these fabrics. It makes the quilt, how big is it, Emma? I think it's, I think it's about 84, yeah, I think big. it's about 84 by 84. The size behind Emma, but in rainbow colours. Right, so you get a metre half of yellow, metre half of orange, metre half of aqua, metre half of purple, metre half of red, metre half of green. Beautiful, 59.99, nine metres of fabric. A lot of fabric, isn't it? Nine meters of fabric there. $59.99. Now, this is enough to do your piecing. You will need other fabric for your binding and your backing. Okay. So that's rainbow around the world. And it's up to you which order you put the colours in, isn't it? You don't have mm -hmm. to follow our instructions on that. You can put them in any order that you like. Carry on. That's Elliot's rain. That's Elliot's rainbow colour. Anyway, fifty nine ninety nine. Can you hear him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone at home can hear him as well. He just doesn't realise. <laughs> right, the blue bundle. Right, how's he going to explain this one? I'd have the blue one followed by the blue one with the blue one, followed by the blue one, followed by the lilac-y one. Oh, that'd be gorgeous. Oh, yeah. $59.99. At <coughs> uh, $59.99. Again, you get nine metres of fabric. Imagine how lovely that one's going to look. I'm thinking teenager's bedroom, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, Hannah's a teenager and she loves this one best. I'm just presuming, because you love unicorns, that you'd have liked the rainbow one, you see. Oh, she's very anti-unicorn at the moment. Oh. 59.99, right, and then wait till you see this one. This is stunning. This one will be very dramatic, I think. So you've got your purples and your magentas, your lilacs and your lavenders in there. Big bundles, nine metres of fabric. Overhead, fifty nine ninety nine. 
Purples, 59.99, nine meters. Remember, you do not get the pattern in the bundle. You do not get the pattern in the bundle. I'll do the pattern again for you. And then we'll get on with it. 9.99. Oh, I'm taking the 10th off. Is it that day? Yeah. Right. Emma, we're just discussing Elliot's last shift now. And I'm on with him, so I'm taking the deal. Uh, where do I start? What do I do? Is it oh, easy? Is it easy? It or is, is it? It is easy. Yeah. Yeah. It is an easy one. Lots of strips. Yeah. Lots of cutting of strips, different ways. But yeah, if you've got a stripology ruler, right. that will make it a lot Right, quicker. the only one we've got in stock is the squared one that you're about to use. Okay. Oh, and the mini, but that's too, that would be too small to do this, the mini, wouldn't it? I would say, yeah. yeah. I would yeah. go much smaller than this no, one, to no, be honest exactly. with you. So forty four ninety nine. we had a yeah. huge day of, uh, of um, stripology of the day. We've got them all back in. They've all gone out again. How many of those have got left? Oh, we've got 15 of them. Got 15 oh, of them. That's, that's good. Yeah, otherwise, just a regular ruler will work as uh -huh. well, but that will make your life a little bit easier. Yeah. So it is cutting the fabric into strips. And if you've never cut fabric in strips before. Right. As a way of cutting, of um, folding the fabric, if you've never seen it. So I'm going to fold the fabric in half first off mm -hmm. with selvages together. So when you get it, when you get the fabric, give it a good press. And then to line it up, it is just lining up those selvage edges so they're nice and eaten and even and there's no folds whatsoever so your fabric is nice and smooth if i show you how not to do it okay so that's nice and smooth at the moment mm -hmm. if it was twisted if it wasn't quite straight because sometimes when it's cut off the bolt even if you match up the cut edges yes i can see it can so, you see yeah it's kind of hard to see on the, on the camera but there is a fold in there you can see there's a fold on the back yep. So just make sure it's all nice and even and smooth. Yeah, so the cut edges aren't always, if you line up the cut edges, it doesn't always f line up flat because of the way that the fabric of is course, yeah. on the bolt. It's folded on the bolt. So you can see right here, if you can see this bit. So these are my cut edges. You can see they're a little bit staggered, yeah. even though my fabric is quite flat. And I'm not going to use the lines uh, on the cutting mat right now because I'm going to use the stripology. Okay. So I'm going to put my stripology on and it's just cutting your strips. And I'm going to line up one of the lines on my stripology ruler with the fold in my fabric. And then I'm just making sure that that first cut takes away any of those ragged edges. So all of my cut edges are on this side of my first cut line. Uh -huh. And your first cut line's like the zero, is it? The, it is, is it? zero, yeah. 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 So I'm going to go a little bit backwards. I'm going to start from here and cut Oh, this okay. Way. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Only reason I do that is because I do find it naturally easier to cut from this side. But also, um, sometimes when you cut that first line, because you've not got a lot of fabric underneath that, la that last bit. It sometimes it moves. Sometimes oh, moves. Oh, okay. I'm just going over twice just because I know there's a little nick in my rotary oh. cutter. So just to be belts and braces. We sell um, new braids here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm, I am awful about that. I've got a, a um, sharpener at home as well. Uh -huh. which I sh What, Mikey? <laughs> There we go. Okay. There's all cut. And then you just continue with all your fabric, cutting out the number of strips that it says yeah, per, of course. per one. So it says how many strips of each one to cut width of fabric, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Um, I think it's at least five from mm -hmm. each one. And then it's a case of sewing your strips together. So... 
for the rainbow one, you will need two, you make four quadrants, if I say that. So yes. this is one quadrant. Is that what, that's one quadrant there, yeah, yeah, that's one quadrant. Oh, sorry, could you see that, Elliot? Elliot? That's one yeah, quadrant that's one there. quadrant. Yeah. So you can uh, make four of those. Four of these. And then you'll see for the rainbow, and I think for all of them. Well, just it says on the pattern you make an extra one down the middle. No, 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 I'm just looking at your bundles. Oh, sorry. Because this one is made up of 12 different fabrics, so you've got one strip of each fabric in each quadrant. Right. Um, with these, it's repeated. Right. So yeah. you have two strips per set of strips yes. of the same colour. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Even though you've got three purples in there, they're made from two strips. Yeah. Yeah, got it. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, what am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> so, so you I've cut all your colours using your cut all my colours, yeah. yeah. And then I just started sewing them. So this is, makes half of a of um, a strip set basically. So I've sewn started sewing them in pairs. Now I've only got half of the strip set because you need twelve right strips per strip set. So you'll have. Two strips of each colour going in the right same order. So if you start with the red, yes. the second lot's got to start with the yes. red as well. So you sell so all twelve of them together. You're just doing six for the demonstration. Yeah, I'm yeah. just showing strips. Yes, thank you. No, no, that's right. That's no, right. no, no. I'm, I'm glad because sometimes what's in my brain doesn't always come out of my mouth. No, well, just as well, really, because <laughs> <laughs> it would be about motorbikes and dinner, wouldn't it? Really, but yeah, it would. So I'm really grateful to have an interpreter. Vicky does that for me as well. <laughs> Interpret what I'm trying to say Aww. in plain speak, so yeah. people can understand. So um, yeah, so I'll do them in, in pairs first. Cause it makes it a little bit easier, and then I'll sew this one onto here. Uh huh. Uh, this way, even because I want to go orange yellow, and then this one onto the next red and orange one and then the other two together yeah. to make because it just makes it easy if you're sewing everything in pairs it's nice and even and then once you've got all 12 sewn together put those aside it will look like this right oh so that is that is the tw that you've done this the 12 is one there the 12 yeah. yes yeah. So if i open it up i've pinned it oh you no, pinned oh. it don't put that in your arm <laughs> Bad habits. I've got bad habits. You put pins in your mouth as well. I do. Very Don't bad do habits. that at home. No. So these are all of my 12. So you can see there's one green. Yeah. Does it matter which green. way you press it? Um, it's down to personal preference, right. I will say. But I like to press them open. Okay. And I don't normally do that for quilting. But I do do that when I sew strips together right. because I find it helps the strips to stay straight. Whereas if I sew, if I press all of the seams onto one side, um, it makes the strips sort of banana a little bit. Because you put more weight on one side than you are on the other. Yeah. yeah. So I do find they stay straighter okay. um, if you press them open. But that is completely down to personal preference. Mm -hmm. Now, once you've got all the trolls sewn together, obviously keep them in the same order. So sew every set of strips in the same order. You'll need five altogether. And then what you'll do as a last step is you'll sew the last strip onto the first strip, right. which is what I've pinned. And I've okay. pinned all this. And again, I've lined it all up. And it's, it's a bit skewy on yeah. the end. So I've lined it all up uh, just like I did with the fabric the first time around. Because if you sew it from edge to edge, you might find that your strips go a little bit. Right. Which isn't the end of the world. No, no, no. But, but don't panic. Like you, yeah. you can see all, on all of yours, they're all a little bit. Yeah. If yeah. I put that there, you'll see. Yeah. It's a bit off. But that's only because I've laid them all out and I've lined them up. Uh, based on how straight it was. Yes. So even this side, which all the selvage edges are pretty much aligned with each other, this bit at the top, yeah. when I've lined it up, laying it all out flat, yeah. it's moved a little bit. So even if you've cut it with stripology, precision, everything like that, you're still going to have movement, so yeah. don't panic about yeah. it. And it's only because of the way that all this, the strips are sewn together, and there's a little bit of shifting here and mm -hmm. there when you've sewn them all up anyway. So. 
So I'm just going to do my last seam on this uh -huh. set. Emma's using the 680, which is in stock at last. Lovely machine. 680 plus. Uh, now, remember, if you buy it now, uh, no, you'll pay £1,249 for it. You can have five split pays of £250. Or, and, 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 you will get five year warranty completely for free. If Ooh. you bought on pre-order, you will also get that five year warranty. Peoples are arriving already, those people who bought it on pre-order. So if you buy yours today, you can literally to be with you in days. The machine and my machine of choice as well. quite um, hypnotic watching <laughs> somebody else so. So you've got your quarter inch foot on, yep. come to the machine, make sure you get an exact quarter inch seam allowance. Well, I will say for this one the key is consistency. Yes. So even if it's a little bit narrow or a little bit wide, so long as it's the same throughout, everything will match up. Yes. And use the same sewing machine for all of it, really. Don't yeah. do what Emma's done. And make no. half at home and then make the other half here because it won't no. match up. <laughs> but it is also very forgiving. So I'm sure there are corners in here where I haven't matched, but it no, will No, I blends. checked. They're all perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Check every single one. Oh, apart from that one there. <laughs> Right, so I'm just going to press that last seam out. Right. Well, this is easier if you've got a proper ironing board and you can just slide it over your ironing board. Yes, it does. Having the cordless actually helps with this as well. Yes. Uh, let's decide who's going for a weekend in Brighton. Ooh. Uh, it's where he went to university and he's missing it. He wants to see the seaside again. And he's going to take his clubbing clothes. He's going down Club Revenge on Saturday night. Is it still there? Don't know even if it's still there. Anna was also at University in Brighton and she used to go to Club Revenge and she fell off the dancer's podium. Why she was on the dancer's podium, I do not know. <laughs> she was wearing skin tight trousers and high heels. There we go. Right, yeah. So then this is where astropology really comes in. Oh, okay. So astropology comes back in. It comes back in. So I'm going to fold it up. So now, do you have to make sure your number one is at the top or at this point? No. It doesn't right. matter. The most important thing is to get everything nice and straight and lined up. Right. Okay. And that's where pinning it, um, with it, ma making sure it's lined up when you pin it and you sew your last strip together. Right. Really helps with this part because right. it'll be, it should all be nice and straight, mm -hmm. basically. So I'm just folding it up exactly like I did for the fabric. Uh huh. Just moving that out yeah, of the move, way. Yeah, so move Hannah's set decorating out of the way. And that out of the way. And then you're going to cut across. You're going to cut more strips exactly the same size. Right. All the way across 
all your layers. Now okay. for this one, mm -hmm. what I use to line up are one of the seams. Right, rather than the fold. Yep. There we go. So I'm using that line on that seam uh -huh. and it is actually lined up along the bottom really well. And then I'm just going to cut across all of them. Right. And you'll now, what size, what size stitch do you use when you sewed it, the strips together? Um, the usual, this one reduces it automatically when you put it yeah. to a quarter of an inch. So that's yeah. 1.8. Okay. I, I use a two and a half at home. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. It's just that a lot of people say when they're cutting across a lot of seams like this, they'd automatically go to a shorter yeah, you stitch, can. wouldn't they? But yeah. the, the, if you've got the 680 plus, as soon as you put the quarter inch seam in, it then reduces takes you to it. a 1.8 stitcher. Yeah. Sorry, I put you off. No, 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 no. I'm just counting them up. Um, one thing that I do do once the top is finished, because you have seams all the way to the edge, is that I do sew a quarter of an inch in all the way around my top. Once you're sewing them all together? Yeah. yeah once oh, so because to stop all the, all the seams coming apart, open. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So when you're handling your quilt top, when you're quilting it, it makes it so all those little seams don't pull apart course, at yeah. the edge. So obviously you'll continue down. Of course, yeah. You'll get 10 strips like this from each strip set. Mm -hmm. And then it's a case of opening them up, a bit like a Bargello. Uh-huh. But on a Bargello, you've cut different width strips yes. and you've gone from like a three inch to a up, down to a half it or one inch and then back up again, haven't you? Yeah. Is this, they're all exactly all the exactly same All exactly the size, same. Yeah. Um, the only thing I'll say is wherever you start, so your, your quadrant, whatever you decide is your beginning colour, right. keep that consistent because all your quadrants... On all the quadrants? Yeah, they yeah. all need to be the you same. You don't have to reverse it or anything like that for the other side. They're all exactly the same. They're all the same. Uh, the only thing that changes is the orientation. Oh, OK. Yeah. Uh, if you want to be doubly sure, because it, there is in the picture, um, because I've got one colour per quadrant... Right. Um, I do have an orientation just to make sure, especially if you've got directional fabric. Oh, yes, yes, I can see, I can yeah, see, yeah. You'll yeah. need to make sure you stay to that key. Yes. So if there's any con any confusion or you're a bit concerned about it, just open them up according to of what's in the, in the pattern. Brilliant. So I've got my own picker. That's not the right side, this is. So, my next one, so this is, if I lay this down here, you'll be able to see. Uh -huh. So, my next colour is going to be green. Yep, yeah. blue, purple. Yeah. So, I want to unpick the seam, so it doesn't be like this. So, I want to unpick the seam between the green and the yeah. yellow. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's also, I suppose, if you've done 2.4, mm -hmm. these seams will be easier to open because a 1.8 is quite difficult to unpick, it isn't is. it? So Although, saying that, I find pressing your seams open makes them easier oh, to yeah, unpick definitely, this way. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah. Because um, if you hold your fabric just like this and you run your seam um, unpicker right down the middle, it only unpicks the thread, Yeah. cuts through the thread. Uh, we've got quicker we go. picks on the website. There we go. I'm going to do mm -hmm. one more. Next one is going to be Good. yellow. So I need to do it between the yellow and orange. If you do unpick one that is wrong by mistake, it's very easy just to sew that oh, yeah, yeah, seam up course, and then yeah. pick the right one. But you know straight away as well because you're laying them out, aren't you? You're going to see yes. if that was in the wrong place. You'd see that you weren't getting the diagonal lines of colour, wouldn't you? Yep. So you can do it straight away. And then the next one is going to be orange. Or maybe you put that one to one side. Oh, yeah, leave one as a reference and then undo them all. Yeah, because then eventually you'll get to the one that you've... Um, oh, yes. You know what I mean? Like yep. if you've unpicked three, three along, you're going to get to that point at one point, so you'll have it you ready are. for you. Yeah. Yep. That's what I actually did with this one, because this one was going to be part of a quadrant, and I realised I actually sewn two 
together that were the same oh. that I couldn't use, so this is an extra. Yeah. <laughs> I, I sewed the correct one together. So each quadrant will have 12 of these. Uh -huh. And then it's just a case of sewing them all together again to make the quadrant. And I do them in pairs as well. Oh, same as you did before. Yeah, so once, you, once you've got them all laid out, you lay them all out like mm -hmm. this cut, and then you work your way along, do one and two, three and four, five and six, like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We just undo one more, because then we'll have two pairs then. Yeah. So it's orange. We need the red coming up. It's gone very quiet. <laughs> I think he's having second thoughts. <laughs> Neither of those. There we go. So okay. that one's already done. So what I'll do is I'll sew this one onto here. Right. Now, how, what, have you got any tri tricks or tips about how we make sure that those all match up? Or they match up as clo closely as possible? If you, yeah, I pin them. I do right. pin. Mm -hmm. And I usually pin... Um, you can pin them all along the edge, but I tend to pin as I'm sort of sewing when I come to it. And then when you're pinning, pin it to the side. So if this is my seam, right. I'm pinning, always pinning so that my pins go in this direction. Right. And that's because um, if you pin them this way, like you would for dressmaking, mm -hmm. it can shift the fabric ever so slightly. So I find it's a bit more accurate to do it. Also, it's side. easier to um, take them out as, as you're going, going along when they're that way. That's true. So what you can do if you really want, if you don't want to do the quarter of an inch around the edge once it's all finished uh -huh. at the top, um, each time that you do one of these long strips together, do a little stop and start. Oh, OK, yeah, that's a good idea. Back stitch. Now, you've only pinned three. Would you pin the whole lot or not? You've only... I will pin as I go along. Oh, okay. I heard you say that earlier. I was thinking, oh, she doesn't mean that. But I'll... <laughs> So you do the first three pins in place, the first three seams. Yeah. So you need three pins then. You can do them all. Yeah. You can do them all. But um, I'm a bit lazy and I like to just get going. Get going? Get going. And it's not even one of those, even if you pressed all the seams to one side, you wouldn't be able to nest them because they're all shifting up. They're all going to be going in the same way. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. All you have to do is when you go to the seam, just to make sure that the one underneath doesn't... Because if you've got an open seam underneath, sometimes it pulls... The feed dogs pull the seam lance across, don't they? Yes. Remember, the pattern is not in the bundle, so you need to buy the pattern separately, $9.99, and then each of the bundles are $59.99. That's really not bad for the size of the quilt that it is. You get nine metres of fabric. Yeah, it's a lot. That yeah. is a lot of fabric. So that's the rainbow one in there. The one that the... Now, what colour would you sew these? Because you've got every single colour going, haven't oh. you? The lilac and the purple and the blue one, it's a bit more easy because you can just do blue, but when blue. you're doing a rainbow... Yeah. I've kind of I've gone a cream on this one. Uh huh. Um, I find creams, mm, I'd say grey, but they're a little bit bright for grey. Right. Um, a yellow might even work, to be honest with oh, you. Oh, okay. Yeah, something pale that sort of blends with everything. Pale and insignificant. Yeah. White tends to be one of the worst. White. White, because it you. You'll see it, it. It's so stark against the colours. Mary, a variegated, rainbow Ooh. variegated. Would that work? Yeah, that would work. We've just sold out of them, but a oh. rainbow <laughs> variegated would be quite nice. Like a what, Elliot? I thought Elliot was swearing then because he just said, like, unicorn. I'm not oh. going to say it. <laughs> because Tula Pink's latest, uh, one of Tula Pink's latest threads, of course. What was the other one called? 
Dragon Breath and Unicorn. Oh. oh. <laughs> Have you watched her film? She's looking so slender at the moment. Mm. No, I haven't seen her. She lost a lot of weight. <laughs> so what happened with you then, Elliot? Mm -hmm. You still on your... You're not on a diet, though, are you? On a still not healthy eating regime. Yeah, I haven't really. Oh, I've what does that naughty. mean? I've been naughty. I haven't oh, really not, been. Oh, it doesn't show. You don't look oh, like you're putting weight you. on. Yeah, I need to get back on my bike, to be honest with you. That's on your bike? Back on my bike, my push bike. Oh, I was going to say, yeah. being on a motorbike doesn't use up calories. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of fun, though. Is that, is that what you do for your exercise? P push bike? Yeah. Have you been oh, off-roading yet, says Elliot? I haven't, but I've got a day booked in May. Oh. Is that when you go through mud and up mountains and things? Yeah, although I don't think it would be quite that intense. It's only a, a beginner. On your motorbike or on a push bike? Motorbike. Oh, OK. I was thinking, I was thinking yeah. push bike. Well over half the instructions have gone this morning. Wow. Mm. Which is the most popular bundle? Rainbow is the most popular. Oh, I like the rainbow. Yeah, it's, it's nice and nice. bright. Purple is very close in very close proximity mm -hmm. in second. Here's the purple one. Lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous colours. Fifty nine ninety nine. Yeah, nine. Move that. Nine. Move that, John. I'm telling <laughs> myself what to do. Uh, nine meters of fabric. Beautiful. You decide which order you want them to go in. Now, is there a, is there a trick to it? Like when you've got all the same color like this, should you do dark light, dark light, or do you just go from darker to lighter? Is there? A, or is it just personal choice? Personal choice. What I would do is I would lay out, so you cut your strips and then you can lay them out. Right. And I would have a play around that way. Yeah, what rather than trying yeah. to do it like this, yeah. What I'd be tempted to do, so I would do, so take the very darkest one, the, yeah, and one that, one. that, yeah. So take the, the one that's in your hand, yeah. down first, and then the one that's on the side, that one. Yeah. And then I would put the magenta, yeah. yeah. And then I would have... And which one? Sorry, that one? Yeah, I think that one. And then, then that, that one, one. And that one. So you'd literally go from darkest to, to palest. Yeah. But like, like Emma says, cut your strips out. It doesn't matter at that point because you, no. you can put them in any order and lay them out because you might do that and go, oh, actually, I want yeah. that. don't want those two together. I want that one in the middle of there or yeah. something. Because you, uh, it depends if you want to have a... Because if you do... Like, if you did that and put that one in there, yeah. would that mean you'd have one... Every so often you'd have a, like your pink there, you'd have a highlighter yes, you would. line of them, yeah. Yep. So you can have a lot, there's a lot of different ways you can of do course, it with yeah, those yeah. colours, yeah. Anyway, this is in second place at the moment, 59.99 for your nine metres of fabric. There we go. So then you continue, you basically continue like that. Yeah. And then, if I take my quadrant, Right. And then one strip. <laughs> Your little trolley's getting piled <laughs> higher is. and higher <laughs> and higher. So let's see, which one did I decide? I think I decided that was the, this is the, if I hold it up, top left hand corner. Right. Like so you're going to have, oh no, it's not blue in the middle because you're going to put a strip on it, aren't you? Yes. So you'll have a quadrant like that. And then to put all your quadrants together, mm -hmm. you have one extra strip. So I wonder if I've got one that's cut. Oh no, is it the right, how do you know which one it is then? This one. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, because you're, because. Like that. And right. then you'll have one extra square of, that's red. Oh, yeah, I see. One so, separate so that square purple in the middle. will create the four one, and then you've got one fabric that goes right in the middle yeah. in on a, yours. And is it a different fabric to everything else? This was a different be? fabric yeah. to everything else. Right. Um, this one I probably would put a red because it's going to be 
purple, I'd put a red one here. Yeah, and it's far enough away from the next red stripe yeah. if you don't want it too close to the next red yeah, stripe. Yeah, because it, it's, it's the one that's in order. Right. So it would, in fact, look like this. Imagine the rest of that strip, so it'd be like that. Yeah. And then you'd have another one. Going that way. But purple. your red would be on its own in the middle. Yes. Yeah. There's a single one in the middle. Fantastic. So you make four of the quadrants. Yep. Then you make four singular stripes, stripes. one central piece. Square. And then, which order, we, how do you then sew it together? Which order do we sew so it together? So what I did was um, sewed this strip onto this quadrant mm -hmm. and then sewed those onto this quadrant. Right, so you've got the half going across top. the top, yeah. And then you've got a strip sewn onto your central square mm -hmm. and then the other strip. Right. And then the bottom quadrant is the same as I've done the top. Yes. So then I sew this strip onto the middle strip onto the top quadrant, and then I sew the bottom quadrant onto okay, uh, the last perfect. thing. And yeah. then what have you finished that one on there? Is that just the top? Um, no, this is actually quilted. Okay. So what Oops. what quilt? What, because it's all very straight lines. What mm -hmm. quilting have you done on that? I can't. Oh, I can see swirly lines over there. It's a there. bit swirly lines. This is actually a new pattern that I wanted to try out. So oh, it's a bit risky trying out a new pattern on a quilt like that. <laughs> um, so it's just added texture because it is quite swirly. Yes. Um, only, I only say that because I've got, I've said this several times, I've got a log cabin on my bed, mm -hmm. but Amanda Little, who's in tomorrow yeah. or whenever she's in, she, um, free, and it's all swirls wow. and feathers, things like yeah. that. And I love when you mix the squares and the swirls. Yeah, I think. yeah definitely. Got a question for you. Okay. Uh, morning, John and Emma. What seam width is the quilt, please? Do you mean what size? Do you, what size do you sew the seams? Oh, quarter of an inch uh, seam allowance. Quarter of an inch seam allowance. Yeah. And then, um, what have you not got any binding on yours? I though? don't yet because I literally just quilted it like. Oh, I week. see. I see. <laughs> so, but this one's been on the go for, for a while, then, isn't it? Because I've seen this one yeah, before, yeah. haven't yeah. I? Yeah. You've seen it as just the top. Yes. Like, it's actually been quilted with a backing on it. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, what binding are you going to put on yours? Oh, hang um, on, morning, John Nemo. Oh, no, I've oh. done that one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Another one coming up here. Uh, love the rainbow colours, but this would look fab with almost any mix of fabrics. I've loved yes. watching Emma this morning from Kate Aww, in Merseyside. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, Kate made me, just made me the most lovely cushion. Oh, Beautiful cushion. Lovely. Kate's cushion. Uh, right, okay, so now what colour would you bind that one with? Because you've got all, or any of these, because you've got so many colours within it. Yeah. That what the one on the wall first of all. We haven't got that colour, obviously. But what colour? How would you pick what colour you would bind it in? I try. I I tend to pick one. Well, it depends. Yeah. I either pick one that's going to blend completely, or a binding that will stand out. Right. So for this one, I'd be tempted to actually do it in this orangey. Oh, isn't that funny? I I was thinking the the green underneath the orange. Oh, the greeny. That would yeah, because that's got a lot of the different colours yeah. in it as well. Yeah. But would you would you even think of doing a scrappy binding on something that's so busy on the inside, or would you want your binding to be? I would. I'd have it plain. I'd have it all one. Yeah. If it's the only time I do a scrappy binding is if there is a, like a border of plain colour between oh, the quilt and the scrappy, because right. yes, then it just, stands out more. Because yes. otherwise, I think it would just get lost. Well, also be a bit kind of a bit messy, wouldn't it, yeah. on this one? Because you'd have all the squares all being formatted and then suddenly because you yeah. couldn't you couldn't plan it so that the scrappy binding came up where you want so you wouldn't that like the way the lilac runs up into the top there oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you didn't have that lilac there it would look a bit odd wouldn't yeah. it yeah mm. yeah yeah and i even a plain one would work as well yeah 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 totally nice. your bundles you will have to choose oh oh and how much how much binding do you think i'd need to do because it's a massive quilt isn't it it is um let me do some maths. Okay, I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll recap. I'm thinking you should buy a metre, that's what I think, but you, you let me know properly. Let okay. me do the rainbow one first. Oh, sorry, what are you doing first? Pattern first, pattern first, instructions first. 9 99 Remember the instructions don't come in the bundles of fabric. Oh, poor Adema's counting on her fingers now, working out. Uh, you throw that yeah, at her. A metre, I would say a metre. Oh, there you go, metre. Because I think it would take about three quarters of a metre. If I, about three inch strips. Yeah. So yeah, I'd go for a meter to be on okay, the safe side. That's safe straight side. binding. Okay, when we come to the bundles, let's talk about what colour binding we'd bind it in. So these are the instructions for nine ninety nine. Beautiful. Right, let me do the rainbow one now. We can talk about waddings as well in a second. I've got backings here as well. So this is rainbow. Hmm. Yeah. 
There we go. There's Rainbow. That's 59.99. That's the one that Emma's been working on now. Single figures on that one. Nine metres of fabric for 59.99. Now, the question is, would you do the binding in one of those colours? Or would you go completely and utterly different? I was thinking of doing navy. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say that. <laughs> Na navy binding. Navy just binding. the navy binding. Yeah, yeah. I, so I was thinking the same. Because yeah. I think so, I'd like to back it in navy as well. Oh, that'd be nice, yeah. Oh, Elliot wants to do his in black to go with his black satin sheets. Anyway, look, so you get uh, a metre of the purple, a metre yeah, and a half. Meet on half the purple, meet on half the yellow, meet on half the red, meet on half the green, meet on half the orange, meet on half the blue. 59.99. That's enough to do the front. You will need to buy a meter to do your binding with, whether it's one of those colours or if you do it in navy blue. Whatever colour, you could do whatever another colour you want. You see, the other thing, make it contemporary. If you did a white border, I, I'd go with the navy, but the white one would suddenly make it mm -hmm. something completely different, wouldn't it? Anyway, 59.99. Then in second place, we've got the purples. Purples, as they say in Liverpool. <laughs> oh, they're level pegging now. They're level pegging, level pegging, level pegging. So, all those beautiful colours. You've got the top. Oh, I'll put that back. You've got the dark purple. You've got the imperial. You've got the magenta. You've got the lilac, the lavender, and the very, very soft one here. So, what colour would you bind this one in? Ooh. I think I would I would actually pick one of the colours. Yeah, no, I would as well. Yeah. But would you go light or would you go dark? I think I might go dark because I tend to like a, a dark one, yeah. but not too dark. Either the magenta one, oh. that one, or the next one up. That, those two? Yeah. You see, I'd pick one of those two. That may be that one. You could go for a pattern purple behind it, but you'd have to make sure it had some of those colours in and it, it wasn't, a, well, you know that. <laughs> Penelope, she's emailed in. Oh, it's Penelope Jenny. No, never apologise for asking questions. That's what we're here for. Yeah. What was the full size of the quilt? <laughs> we can't remember. Can't well, hang on. How big? Oh, how so big? let me tell you. Yeah. If they can do some maths, because I won't be able to do it in my head. So that's three and a half. Yeah. By. Got your calculator. Twenty-four, twenty-five. Three twenty-five times three and a half. Yeah. Well, that's seventy-five. Plus 12 and a half, 87 and a half. Okay. 87 and a half it's square. Big. Yep. Obviously, square. square. Yeah. 87 is big. Right, okay, that's purple. That's purple. Then we've got the blues. That's you, Hannah, the blue. Now, this one, you get your nine meters, meter and a half, 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 meter and a half. 59.99. Mm. Now, I know what colour Hannah would bind this one in. White for the it's not called the brim, it's the froth on the waves. What's that oh, called? Oh, yeah, the Riding foam. A crest, sea foam. crest yeah. of the wave or sea foam. Yeah, <laughs> no, she's not a sailor. 59 nine cents. Would you, would you do white? No, I oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> I think I would probably do either a navy or another dark blue, right? Yeah, maybe oh. a dark of that Air Force blue. Yeah, I don't agree with them, right? I wouldn't do a blue either. <laughs> uh, I don't know what colour I'd do. Or oh, grey might work, actually. Grey might work, dark grey. Oh. <laughs> Hannah's going to do a yellow board, but you tell you what would work. What was that gorgeous fabric we had yesterday? The folkloric fabric. That would be beautiful because that had all those blues in it with a little speckle of uh, lemon and a little speckle of cream in it. Oh, that'd be nice. So that would be uh, that would only be your border. You wouldn't have it anywhere in no. there. Or what you could do is you could actually buy a meter and a half of one of those from yesterday and have it as one of your stripes. <gasps> yes. So literally one stripe every now and then. Yeah. Or one not stripe, but one. Yeah. I don't know. Crescendo. Yeah. Would be of your fat pack. Yeah. Anyway. Just getting carried away. They're fifty nine ninety nine. Summer breeze. That was it. Moda summer breeze. We had it yesterday morning at eight o'clock. Yeah, Eric. Uh, Eric. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Elliot. We did all that singing of that yesterday. Right. I've got two backings here. We've got extra wide backings. These are. This I think would be beautiful. Only with the rainbow. I don't think I put. Oh. I don't know. I think I see. I see orange no. and blue. Oh, do I see orange and purple. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, Elliot likes yellow, orange, and purple as well. 
11, 9 half meters, Sandy Gervais, Adele in Autumn, Persimon, 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 or Per Simon, as Per Simon. No, it's two M's, Persimon. Persimon. Aren't they, don't they make built houses? Anyway. It's a fruit. Oh, it's a fruit, is it? Yeah. It's Persimmon built house builders as well. Yeah, but. Is it an orange fruit? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's the colour then. <laughs> and what fruit is it? Is it's it like an ugly fruit, like one of those, or a mango it, fruit? It's similar to a shape of a tomato. It has a skin of a tomato. Oh, I know which one it is, with a yeah. funny... Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Sharon. Yeah. Shasa. Sharon fruit. Yeah. <laughs> Hannah's mum fruit. Yeah. Oh, and Elliot wouldn't eat that in a million years. Mind you, he has trouble eating any vegetable, doesn't he, right? And then we've got this one. Ooh. See, now Hannah will put this one with the blue. Twelve ninety nine dots off white, extra wide backing. It's nice. Beautiful. Stop singing, Elliot. It's making my ears bleed. So I love a, a plainish back and then quilted, long arm quilted. Yeah. So you can see with a contrasting thread. So you can make them reversible. Oh, so when you twist it over, you've got like um, a, a, what's it called, a, a, not a one cloth, that's the one show I'm thinking of. Yeah, yeah a whole cloth. Whole cloth, whole right. cloth on one side with the patterning and then on the other. Oh, yeah. that's a good idea. Very nice. Right, while we're talking about machines, very quickly, oh. the uh, 680 Plus is back in stock, everyone. It's my machine of choice. Now, if you buy it, we will give you five-year warranty. You normally get a two-year warranty, you get a five-year warranty. They are in the warehouse in Stockport, ready to be sent out. Obviously, it's Saturday today, and I don't think anyone will be there today. So on Monday, they will get an email to say that you have bought it, and it will. the, sh the shipping is happening really, really quickly on these. People who bought them on pre-order are receiving theirs already. Jane got hers yesterday, and she's, still, she's in love already. I know, five-year warranty. Let's put the graphics in. £1,249 uh, or five split payments of £249.80 does come with a huge extension table. It comes with all those feet I showed you yesterday. It is an amazing, amazing, amazing machine. And that's the one that Emma's been using in this hour. Fantastic, isn't it? Right, Emma, when are you back? On um, the 4th for birthday week. Birthday week? And what day of the week's that? A Friday. Oh, the one day I'm not here. Uh, I was supposed to be here the, on the Thursday and then it, it got changed. Oh. So. Oh, well, never mind. I'll see you. And then Didn't I, want but, us together again, obviously. I'm going to get on back on the 19th of March. I'm oh. not trying twice oh, in March. Oh, okay. It's so. popular. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Quilting week, I be think. Be in the new studio then. Oh, mm -hmm. fancy. Apparently. Uh, anyway, thank you ever so much for coming thank in. You. Thank Love you. Thank you for my gorgeous flowers, it's by the way. It's the first time I've seen you this year. No, it's not. Yeah. Well, it's because I watch Is your it? Facebook Lives on a yeah. Friday. I feel like a... <laughs> That's why Emma... Actually, yes, we all got Christmas presents this morning. <laughs> uh, but uh, thank you very much indeed. And, uh, well, I won't see you on the birthday week, but I'll no. see, I might see you on the 19th. Okay. But thank you ever so much. Uh, thank and send our love to Mikey on his oh, way as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, he'd be, he'd be in such a good mood now. He's going out for his... Because you're going for lunch, aren't you? Yeah, we are. Yeah. And then where are you going? To the motorbike museum. Does he want to go there as well? Yeah, he said he's interested. Yeah. But it's mostly for me. It's my birthday. Today? Well, tomorrow. But oh, birthday, happy birthday. He oh, didn't tell you. us that, did he? <laughs> oh, oh, happy birthday for tomorrow. Oh, thank 21 you. 21 again. Yeah. It's actually birthday present, is it? Lunch? Yeah. Lunch, lunch in the museum. She's going to the, um, I said, oh, where are you going? Somewhere nice. And she went, where is it? You Kura love it, don't yeah, you? What Kura is it? Karagi Chicken at Resort World. She's a cheap date, isn't she? <laughs> anyway, have a lovely day and a happy thank birthday you. for tomorrow. Thank oh, you. I didn't know. Oh. feel bad now. No. Uh, oh, no. Uh, anyway, don't go anywhere. I'm, oh no, I've got to say goodbye. I've got to say goodbye because we're going to Yarn Lane, aren't we? Look at this. Have a look at tomorrow's menu then. So here's tomorrow's menu. Uh, now it's not me tomorrow, it's Vix tomorrow. So we've got fabric bundles at 8 o'clock. We've got a makeup bag with Amanda Little at 9 o'clock. We've got a kitchen cow cream set with Debbie Shaw at 10 o'clock. She's just doing one hour, Debbie Shaw. 11 o'clock, we've got the pinwheel dance quilt with Amanda Little. And at 12 o'clock, Sewing machines. That's tomorrow. Right now, we are off to Yarn Lane. It is Yarn Lane clearance. It is clearance today. Now, um, Hannah's put this out together. She hasn't asked. She's just put in what she likes. So there's all sorts of things coming up in the next hour, and she's going to drop the prices on all of them. So if you haven't been to Yarn Lane before, come with us. Come with us. No guests, no demo. It's just clearance and everything. Uh, if you're watching on, oh no. 
on the website, you can only watch on the website or on the telly. That's the only two places you can watch. You can't watch on YouTube or Facebook. But if you have bought something from me this morning, your PMP's paid for. Different company, but diff but same warehouse. So your PMP's covered. Also, the items from this show do not appear on the Yarn Lane website, and the things from Yarn Lane don't appear on here. So you do have to come over and join me. I can't do your I can't do your Facebook because it's still not working. So thanks for your company. Uh, Sewing so Street. I don't know when I'm back. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday next week. I said I'm not in next week and then I'll find out I'm in Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, but I'll see you in a five minutes time if you come to Yarn Lane or I'll see you on, pardon, through the window. Bye.